Hey guys, let me know whenever you can see me. Sorry, uh, starting the stream later than normal. I usually start late anyways, but uh, I'm not super feeling good today. Um, I just woke up with a really bad migraine. Um, so I think it feels better. I took some medicine, but um, I might not be able to stream quite as long today, just to kind of let you guys know. Um, but yeah, that was why I kind of decided to delay it a little bit. Welcome, thanks guys for showing up. Yeah, I just changed the time because I was like, yeah, definitely, definitely not starting at two today. It's not gonna happen. Welcome, welcome. And what's on the news? What's on the news report? Well, if you guys think I'm early, I just changed the time. I'm actually later than normal. <laughs> I'm actually way later than normal. Oh man. Hopefully, uh, Edgeworth can uh, cure me today. That's the that's the real goal. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. God, when I posted this though, I saw somebody in the chat, they immediately were like, this reminds me when uh, Weeby set a stream name to like, it's Vivia time and he didn't show up until like the very end of the stream. I was like, God dang it, did I, did I jinx Edgeworth? Is he not gonna show up until like the very end of the stream today? I was like, that that sounds about right, honestly. It's probably what's gonna happen now that, uh, now that I think about it. But um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, you know what? I actually had a dream about Edgeworth. Okay, it's not it's not what it sounds like though. I know I, I the way I said that made it sound a lot more sussy than it actually is. So um, I'm ex super excited actually because I'm actually uh, going to go to Japan for vacation next year, like early next year in February. So I had a dream where like I was going much earlier, and when I got there, I was like trying to buy like an Edgeworth plush. And I don't know, it was like the, the shopkeepers like took it and like, I was like, I, don't, I think I was like live streaming actually in my dream. I was like, guys, I'm about to get this like dope ass Edgeworth plush. And then like the people who worked at the store like took him right before, right before I even got to buy him. I was so upset. I was like on stream, like super upset. And I was like, why are they, why are they taking them away from me right when I, right when I want him? That did definitely sound a lot, uh, <laughs> sound a lot more sussy the way I, uh, the way I started that out. <laughs> oh my god but uh yeah what else did i want to say i think that was it edgeworth you know good times <laughs> good times lots of lots of edgeworth thoughts going into my dreams apparently that's how excited i am for this okay let's start this now yes it literally is who will be this year's Grand Prix champion? Who will be our hero of heroes? I, I clicked on the right one, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. What is, what is this? Oh my god, is it the samurai guy? Will it be last year's runner-up, Jammin' Ninja? Oh my god, is Edgy in one of these? Or maybe Captain Saipon? I see the students at a certain starry school are raring to win. And global hero Anya Kapon doesn't want to go home. Oh god, we hope Lady Luck was with all of our heroes tonight. I heart Saipan, is that America Japan's name? The winner of the third annual Hero of Heroes, Grand Prix, is me! What the? It's me! <laughs> hey! Whoa, the true hero of the night has appeared in our midst! That's him, right? Hero of Heroes. Superhero. Looks like this year's Grand Prix is going to this fantastic warrior. The Nickel Samurai. Oh, that hand's kind of dope. Too bad, Jam and Ninja. Looks like the title eluded you again this year. As it will next year. That is so sad. Why was I kind of expecting like a dead body to like appear out of nowhere or something? <laughs> oh, man. Mofo took out the moon. It's like, what, which character in Dragon Ball Z did that first? Was it Piccolo or was it Goku? He just, he wants to be, he wants to be Dragon Ball so bad. I think it was Piccolo actually, yeah. That wasn't Dragon Ball Z, I don't think about it. All oh, right, yes, did you hear that, Nick? Did you? It's the Nickel Samurai, he did it. What was the Samurai from the last game? It was like, um, I sure they became like the Slay Samurai, <laughs> like later. I don't know, later in, uh, after I think they had like a rebranding or something. Roshi did an OG. It was Roshi? Really? Dang. I kind of forget he's strong. <laughs> he doesn't really do much in Dragon Ball Z. I was thinking about rewatching Dragon Ball, honestly, recently. Hey, sure did. I'm getting too old for this. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. What did I. Did I give him like a Ganta voice or something? Oh, I'm proud of the guy for doing the series justice. Um, so the person everyone was cheering for. 
I guess you got the prize. Yep. You know who we're talking about, right, Pearly? The Nickel Samurai. Lots of samurai cases in this game. Pink Princess, that's what it was. Steel Samurai, but I think, didn't they rebrand a Pink Princess though after, after uh, the case? No, every Sunday I only watch the Educational Channel's Kids Masterpiece Theater. I, my mom only let me allow me to watch educational programs. Okay, that's it. From now on, it's Nickel Samurai. All the kids watch it, and me. Do you like the Nickel Samurai too, Mr. Nick? I'm not 12, so you know, <laughs> I don't watch that shit. Nah, Nick's an old fart, so he's not allowed to watch it anymore. That's right, but I do like Kids Masterpiece Theater. What is Kids Masterpiece Theater? Hey, I don't know, I didn't know you were so young at heart, Nick. Mr. Nick, you're all grown up. You're not allowed to watch it anymore. You're supposed to act your age and have interests that match. It's very important. I like the little face she makes. Uh, give it a res, Pearly. Looks like I made the right choice in inviting everyone here. I'm glad you're all having a good time. Ah, uh, it's like a dream. Too bad for the gem and ninja, though. Is the gem and ninja about to slay? <laughs> He's like, damn you, Nickel Samurai! I will get I will get the number one place, even if it happens by default. Last year he lost the pink princess. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Warrior of little old Tokyo. I thought this might be his year. Yeah. Oh hey, did anybody else think that the Jam and Ninja looked a bit different today? He liked to piss, ready to slay. Different, what do you mean? Um, well, he wasn't carrying his bright red guitar, unless he's dead already. Hey, you're right. Strange he'd walk around with his sig without his signature guitar. Sigh, I will never understand these people and their shows. You know what would be interesting? They have a Danganronpa fan game, but only with the different samurai <laughs> variations from this game. And that's what I want to see. Anyways, Mr. Powers, thank you very much for tonight. I feel like they are kind of like Danganronpa characters in a way. They all have like their own stick. You got Pink Princess, the Jammin' Ninja, the Nickel Ninja. Uh, oh, it was nothing. I owe you one, so it's just my way of saying thanks. I guess some of them are ninjas and some of them are uh, samurais though. Hey Nick, come on, it's time to get going to the lobby. There's a post-ceremony stage show that's supposed to start real soon. And then I hear, there's going to be a press conference after that. Thank you, Drago Nug. <laughs> what did you do to Maya? <laughs> Why would you do this to her? <laughs> so cursed. I loved all your uh, edits last time though. Those were so great. <clears throat> a press conference. Is he going to make a speech winning about winning this year's prize? <clears throat> we're at the Gay Water Hotel. <laughs> of course we are. <laughs> Of course we are. Edgeworth better be here if we're at the Gay Water Hotel. Come on, they're, they're definitely, they're definitely teasing us too much. Um, well, not exactly. Something about the Nickel Samurai confessing something. Confessing? Sounds pretty serious. Ah, Nick, come on. You don't want us to be in the last ones there, do you? Yeah, Mr. Nick, do you? <laughs> turning into like a little mini Maya. Well, I mean, the show doesn't even start for around 20 minutes. Oh, I can talk to you? Will Powers, thank you very much for inviting us today. What was, what was your name again? Oh, uh, it's nothing really. Guys like us don't get to come to a place like this often, so I thought I'd invite you all. Hey, Mr. Powers, what have you been up to lately? Well, since the Pink Princess successfully wrapped up last month, I've been on a kids exercise show. Oh. While wearing a rabbit mask over my face, a, a golden rabbit costume. <laughs> Oh, I see. I'm still really sorry about all the headache I caused you that time, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, well, what's done is done, so let's forget about it. Oh, yeah, I gotta show him the badge. This is Will Powers. He's an action star. His popularity exploded when he was the Steel Samurai. And he was the first case Maya worked on with me. It's too bad you look scary. Or people know you're a real soft... Or people know you're a real softy is good with kids. Um, <laughs> thanks, uh, I think. <laughs> I feel like I just got insulted. Okay, let's do it. The most important thing ever. Wait, what's this? Glossy photo Maya pushed onto me. Oh, pfft. an advertisement, of course. Of course. Okay. Oh, I really owe you one. <laughs> it's like Phoenix just shoving this in everybody's face. <laughs> also, remember this when I when I saved you. <laughs> 
it wasn't for you guys, I don't know what would have happened. What you did, it was a real tight spot I was in, and you fought so hard to get me out. I don't care what happens, I'll never forget everything you've done for me. Okay. Well, that was cute, man. You're not gonna roast me? That's what I usually- that's what usually happens. I can't believe they're gonna make a movie based on the Nickel Samurai. <clears throat> I can't believe it either, but for a different reason. Okay. The Steel Samurai, an epic story of one hero in a desperate fight against his arch nemesis, the evil magistrate in the old- in the city of old Neo, old Tokyo. Nickel Samurai. And last year, they started a new series, The Nickel Samurai. The new series seems to be a hit with kids, too. It's basically the same thing, but with nickels. Are nickels even, like, that tough? Compared to, like, steel, I don't know if they would be as strong. I don't know anything about that, though. Thank you, Breathe the Cookie Monster. I love how I have stream the stream open while doing my Duolingo Japanese lessons. This is both hilarious and terrifying. Oh, nice! I've been doing those, too. I've been, like, going back and forth through, like, Duolingo, and then, like, Rinchu, and then, like, uh... Genki, I like also bought that book too. I've been kind of going back and forth on a bunch of different stuff to try to speed run learning Japanese to the best of my ability. But Duolingo is fun. I'm really attached to the Steel Samurai as a show. So I was hoping that maybe I'd get the chance to do something in this new one. Yeah, it's too bad. It'd be, it'd be awesome to see you with the new actor, Matt Un Ungard. He's super popular right now. Um, Ungard? Looks like Pearls doesn't know who he is. This year, it's going to be Nickel Samurai versus the Jammin' Ninja at the box office. Jammin' Ninja, who's that again? Okay. He's the guy who's super bitter. Uh, so who is this Jammin' Ninja again? He's a hero, duh, his symbol is the bright red guitar he's always carrying. A ninja who's always carrying around a bright red guitar. How does that even work? <laughs> How does this even make sense? Oh, uh, there he is, oh my goodness. Okay, I love him. Look at how fat this baby deer is, too! It's so adorable! <laughs> I've never seen a fat baby deer before. Oh, little chunker. Who's your little chunker? With a scarf around his neck and a guitar in his hand, he rises to stardom in an ancient time. A ninja who becomes a star. Uh, that's why he's got the ninja star on, on his head. Got it. <laughs> I hope you'll keep up your streak in Duolingo. Or you know what happens. Two weeks, baby. Two week long streak, although I've had to freeze a lot of days. <laughs> but still, I love the little Duolingo bird. He's so cute. And I love how murderous he is. Yeah, Ninja who becomes a star. There's a strong rivalry between the two of them. Global Studios Nickel Samurai and Worldwide Studios Gem and Ninja. They even air at the same time. Oh, yikes. You know what I heard? I heard those two don't get along at all. The Nickel Samurai is on guard, and the guy who plays the Jim and Ninja, I mean, God, the uh, world of Hollywood, <laughs> of Hollywood, California, Tokyo is quite, uh, quite dangerous. It's gonna be like the second murder with, <laughs> with these guys. The Nickel Samurai speaks French. Oh, you mean Matt on guard, the actor. Oh, thank you, Shadow Arm Midnight is Nick, Maya, and Pearl's Dad was oh is Nick Mayan Pearl's dad or brother figure? I feel like kind of huh. That's a good question. I feel like he'd be more of a brother, like an older brother figure to Maya, but then more of like a dad figure. Where I like older brother in general. I mean like I love I love I love Nick, but like he's not really the most like <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't really act like a dad. I feel like he acts more like a confused older brother who wants the best for his uh, siblings, but doesn't always know how to act. <laughs> I think Samurai speak French. Oh, you mean Matt on guard. Uh, I guess even the world of heroes isn't as isn't a sparkling happy place. Yeah. Okay. Do we move? I guess. Let's go to the hallway. Funny uncle. Uncle. That's a, probably a better uh, <laughs> a better analogy. Mark 20 Gateway Hotel. All these flowers, dude. It looks like somebody died. Wow, what is with this place? Looks like I've stumbled into Oz or something. Way in the back, there's a sign for the bathroom. Maybe I should visit it while I can before the show starts. Let's go pee! Oh, we can only go back to Viola, 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 Viola Hall? Okay. 
to Mr. On Guard from the Global Studio staff. Uh, it'd be nice if lawyers got flowers too. Something like, to Mr. Wright from all your, your grateful clients, but nobody fucking cares about me. So sad. So sad. Compared to the flowers on the other side of the hall, all those are much more gorgeous. Let's see, record companies, fan clubs, company workers, family. Carrying all these flowers home would be hard, I think. Okay, so this is for the uh, Nickel Samurai. They said uh, On Guard was the, uh, he was the ninja, right? He's got the shitty show. You can understand the flowers in front of the dressing rooms, but what are stuffed bears doing here? Could it be that there is an action star with a soft spot for teddy bears? Nah, can't be. Little, little Kumas? Little Monokumas? There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says, Juan Corda's room. Juan Corda. His name just sounds like a star's name. I've heard it before, but I don't know anything about him at all. There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says, Matt On Guard's room. Matt On Guard. I've heard that name before. Oh yeah, Maya's always yammering about him like the obsessed fan she is. Or maybe, was it the Nickel Samurai actually? I'm so out of it today. <laughs> oh yeah, Freddy Fazbear too. Why do I always play stuff with like bear mascots? <laughs> there are toilets in each room of this hotel, but since all sorts of events are held here, there are bathrooms for people who aren't staying here to use as well. Perfect for people like me, who can't afford to stay here at the Gay Water <laughs> Hotel anyways. They're like, sorry, Mr. Phoenix Wright, you're not gay enough. Come back with Edgeworth. <laughs> Then maybe we'll pencil you in. Okay, uh, is that it? Well, where else can I go? Sounds like the post ceremony show is about to start. I like how, like how Phoenix just looks at the bathroom. He's like, yeah, I should pee. Anyways, I guess I'll go back now. All right, I'm so pumped. I wonder if he's going to show off his special move today. Nickel Samurai Smelting. Actually, what I'm interested in most is the press conference. Um, you mean the big confession the Nickel Samurai is going to make after the show? So what is it? Don't you know that it's what it's about, Mr. Powers? Um, well, I'm not the Steel Samurai anymore, so I don't have any idea. <sighs> Sorry. Ah, so I guess you're all going to the press conference. Yeah, of course! If that's the case, then here, take these tickets so you can get in. Okay, press conference ticket. Seems like the Nickel Samurai is going to confess to something after the post-ceremony stage show. Thank you very much. Well, let's get going to the lobby. It looks like it's over this way, Mr. Nick. Okay, for great justice. Did he kill the ninja? Like, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Hotel lobby. Here he is. Um, only a really gaudy hotel would have such a large gaudy lobby to match. I think they're gonna have the post-ceremony show over there. They're using a compact stage, I see. Oh, I'm all ready to use my special samurai power! Maya looks like she's ready to start a fight. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. The Nickel Samurai's post-ceremony stage show will not be held tonight due to unforeseen circumstances. Okay, well maybe he got killed. Oh, what? Why? Oh, you don't have to pinch me. Pinch yourself if you don't believe it. <laughs> it's like punches him in the face. You don't have to punch me, dude. We are asking for everyone's cooperation at this time. What are we gonna do, have it without him? So please stay where you are. This is a special request from the police. Ah! Police? Did they just say the police? Oh yeah, he's dead dead. Don't you want me to go check out what's going on? Um, wait, I'll come with you. Freeze! You two, didn't you hear the announcement just now? It just finished telling you not to move! That, that voice! I've, I've heard that voice, that annoying nasally voice somewhere! Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I thought it was Gumshoe! Uh... Honestly, youth these days can't be bother bothered to listen to other people when they talk. Who is this? I said, beware, bridge out, along comes the sun, now a little pong at the bridge. I'm trying to tell the boy, and that would be, listen, no, of course not. He's sitting careful in the park, and the one the bridge out, the park was named. Just, I'm not kidding you here. That kid said, and I really meant it. Well, I really let him have it. I knocked him clear up. I, I can't breathe anymore. This don't stop chatter. It can't be. Oh, no. 
No! 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 Why? She's back! Miss Old Bag! Why is she wearing that? I'm very into cosplay in my free time. I'm an e-girl, just like you, Weeby. What is it, either you young whippersnappers? Do I know you? You don't remember us? Wait, you? Your powers, aren't you? God damn it. I thought we were done with you. No! No! God damn it. Thank you, Dragon Nugget. What? No, no! Pearl, too! Don't mention my Pearl! Thank you, Shadow or Midnight. If you're a fan of My Little Pony, then you should check out Turnabout Storm, a crossover of My Little Pony and the Ace Attorney. It takes place after the first three games and EOJ further down. You know, I don't really watch uh, My Little Pony at all. I do think there was like a Danganronpa like uh, My Little Pony crossover video on YouTube that was pretty popular, too. You know, I meant to react to it, but I never got around to it. But thank you for uh, letting me know. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll check it out sometime. Oh yeah, but what happened back then? You didn't get nominated this year, did you? Oh, that's right, you're doing that children's exercise program trying to play nice. <laughs> Don't you know that child obesity is all the rage these days, a loser? Oh uh, yeah, that's me. Thankfully I still have a job. Uh, unlike some people. Oh, you, you snob. I love that show, even with your face coming the mouth, I know you're a giant driving. What a one of on, but that's how you know what I mean. If you don't wear the mask, who knows, maybe you know But why are you wearing purple in that show? I don't know, this is weird. It's going to really amount to this. It kind of scares me. Um, uh, what are you doing here? Look at my uniform and tell me you can tell I'm a member of secu security. <laughs> Girl, are you for real? They just gave you a fucking costume. They're like, yeah, sure, you can be a part of security. <laughs> Put on this uh, fishbowl on your head. <laughs> Put this fishbowl on your head. Here's a fake gun and we'll uh, just pretend. You're not getting paid for this, by the way. <laughs> but that outfit. Annoying, noisy brats. Get the blaster. <laughs> Girl, you know that's not real, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. This <laughs> is the last person I expected to be wearing that. Oh, man. Thank you, Crocomancer. Damn it, Weeby. Old back saw the thumbnail. You gotta change the thumbnail to me now, Weeby. Everyone's favorite. You thought you were seeing Edgeworth this stream? Hilarious. This is Old Bag. What the fuck are you doing here? What happened to your position at Global Studios? Oh, that old place. Well, since that incident, they've been letting people go. I got fired. Just a little bit. They couldn't handle... They couldn't handle the old bag. When they cut security team, I got the pink slip. Um, what incident? What did you do? I didn't do anything, you gungan! It, don't you remember that incident a year ago? When this lady got on the witness stand and testified? Probably lied throughout. <laughs> lied out her ass, too. Yeah. And you, weren't you the one who was bullying me, this fragile, <laughs> fragile little girl at heart? I'm just a little girl. I plead the fifth. Blue badgering me on the witness stand. But you know, I think maybe I rubbed the upper management the wrong way by testifying. Yes, that has to be it. Everything is all... <laughs> of course. <laughs> Take no responsibility of your own, sweetie. It's all my fault. Oh my god. Thank you, Ray the Cookie Monster. She's wearing the Among Us costume. She's trying to be hip with the kid. She's just a little girl. She's a she's a zoomer, you know? <laughs> so, see? I'm not old. I'm into Among Us. Yes, slay! Skippity D toilet or whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> Thank you, Sniffy Whiffy. Whip a snapper! <laughs> <laughs> if only, uh, if only, uh, Franny was here. Yes, it's me, it's everything's your fault! Always! Me! I thought about being a bodyguard at first after being handed old Pinky. You a bodyguard? For your friend. That fiery, good-looking guy with the... She, okay, she is just like me for real, though. <laughs> I was like, she do be just like me for real. She really did see the thumbnail and she was like, where? Where's Edgeworth? Where's Miles Edgeworth? He's not here yet, girl. Get off my screen so we can show up. For your friend, that fiery, good-looking guy with the red jacket and the ruffles. Um, uh, Mr. Edgeworth? But That sort of arrangement would be entirely too troublesome for me. That's what he said to me. 
whatever do to deserve that? He rejected me! <laughs> this is so... Can you believe it? Somebody rejecting old bag. <laughs> Why are you shooting me for that? <laughs> okay, actually, before I forget, we gotta present her this. She'll love it. These eyes of mine are real pros now. Pros? Pros are doing what? I'm doing police work. Of course, my eyes are like a hawk. You were not in the police, girl. And my professional eyes spot a messy incident. A bloody messy incident. That's why I don't have time for your meddling kids and your petty little things. Okay. And your little dog, too. What happened? Um, so... Did something happen? I don't have all the details, but it looks like another one of those incidents happened again. An incident? Like a murder kind of incident? Maybe, you see. I'm a bit of a devilish woman. So wherever I go, showers of blood are sure to follow. I bet you didn't know that! <laughs> it's just people sewer sliding upon seeing her. <laughs> like, no! No, not her again, damn it! <laughs> it's crazy how that always happens! But I'm not the problem. Um, then shouldn't you quit being a security guard? At least for other people's sake. Silence, whippersnapper! <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Nick. What is it? I don't like that devilish smile playing on your lips. Um, let's make like we're going to the bathroom and check things out. No way! The police told us not to go anywhere, remember? I'm pretty sure Miss Old Bag does not work for the police. <laughs> Huh, how boring. You're such a boring guy. You've got no motivation, no spirit, and you never let me steal things. Huh, what? What's going on? Are you giving Mystic Maya trouble again, Mr. Nick? Not you too, Pearls. Please, don't stick your little nose into this one. So, listen to this, Pearly. This one time at lawyer camp, Nick... Okay! <laughs> he got caught making out with Edgeworth in the back of a truck. <laughs> Listening to Taylor Swift. Oh my god, so embarrassing, Edgeworth. Stop it! It was the most magical night of my life! Okay, get it! Let's go take a look! Yay! I knew you couldn't say no to me, Nick. That's right! You'd walk over miles of hot coals for Mystic Maya, wouldn't you, Mr. Nick? That would be every time we work a case together. I hope when Pearl sees him with Edgeworth, she starts shipping the true ship. I know you're a smart girl, Pearl. You're a smart girl. You're gonna, you're gonna know. You're gonna know once you see Edgy, you're gonna be right there with me shipping it. Um, well, what are we waiting for? Let's go already. You can come along too, Pearly. Goody, I get to come, I get to come. Okay. Let's, uh, move somewhere. <laughs> they were listening to Antihero. I was thinking Enchanted. <laughs> There's nothing really out of the ordinary here. <laughs> I'm pretty saying the same thing. Phoenix plays Enchanted by Taylor Swift while kissing a photo of Edgeworth from the newspaper clipping. <laughs> okay, now that is embarrassing. <laughs> This fucking, who's blaring Enchanted out of their SUV right now? <laughs> Just see Phoenix in there. Uh. <laughs> I'm dead. There's nothing really out of the ordinary here. Are you looking for the incident that the old lady was talking about? Doesn't look like it happened here. Well, we better go look somewhere else. All right, then. Let's try. Um, excuse me. Ack! Oh, what the fuck? Are you a zombie? <laughs> it's like, what? Is, what? <laughs> you can cut it. Are you a human version of Monokuma? Like, what is up with you? <laughs> Get the black and white, got the split <laughs> down. Okay. Who, who, who? Are you, are you by any chance a Maya Faye? <laughs> Why do you sound like an evil teddy bear? Um, yeah, that's me. <laughs> I don't know what it's like. It's like, like a British voice or something. You have a phone call waiting for you at the front desk. A call? I wonder if it's someone from Karain Village. What's wrong, Mystic Maya? Oh, nothing. You guys go on ahead and I'll be right there. Okay. Okay, let me, um... Thank you to Shadow Art Midnight. Francisca is not letting that woman in her family. <laughs> for real. For real! Not letting that young whip a snapper into her family. Right this way, Miss Faye. 
Let's go look somewhere else now, Mr. Nick. Yeah, okay. This is a little exciting and a little scary. Okay, let's keep moving around, I guess. I'm going to the hallway in a while. Gate water. Oh, you guys lied. It's not gay water hotel. You got you guys bullying me. <laughs> I told you, get people the info they want, which means that I've got a right to know. Nope, don't care who you are, pal. We're still investigating, so you can't go in. Oh, wait. What's your problem? What is, who is talking right now? Just you wait. I'll be, it'll be all over the morning paper. Scruffy detective, secret scandal revealed. You'll see. I'll get you back. Those two sound pretty serious. That southern accent can- oh my god, is it- is, what is this? Like, the reunion of all the Ace Attorney characters? Is that you, Miss, um, what was her face again? Hey, Rot! Yeah, Lotta. Hey, Lotta. Come on, do a gal a favor and tell this cop I'm just doing my job. I got rights. My HIPAA rights. Oh, you. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal, help a guy out. Tell her that the only- that only the police are allowed here. This is the scene of a murder, so she should leave this to us pros. A, a murder? Ah, oh, shoot. Me and my big mouth. Say, I knew it. My gut instinct told me so. I always trust my gut. A murder, it said, and that's what it is. A genuine murder. Hey, wait. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Literally, a murder of a big star, no less. Yeah! Oh my god, I'm so excited. I love true crime. Oh man, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Why did it have to be Lotto who heard about it? Damn it. Damn it! Okay, what do you think about this? Would you take a look at this for me? Listen, pal. I'm not licking any info about the evidence to you this time. If you do, if I do, my salary's really gonna get it. <laughs> they already pay me like a dollar an hour right now. And then I won't even able to get able to get those instant noodles down to the discount market. Okay. Man, you're not gonna say anything to me personally. I feel like he usually says, like, why do you always show this shit to me, Phoenix? What happened? So Detective Gumshoe, a murder? Oh no, that's not it. I got my facts mixed up for a second there, pal. It was a a shirter! What the hell's a shirter? I don't know. Um, Mr. Nick, is the dead person the Nickel Samurai? Huh? Why, why do you ask? Well, Mr. Maya was rooting for him, so... <laughs> and her faves always die! It wasn't the Nickel Samurai that got bumped. Okay, actually... Oh... The Nickel Samurai is the one under suspicion of doing the bumping off. What? The guy that died. Was this hero named the Jammin' Ninja, pal? Okay, it was him who died. The Jammin' Ninja. Man, I was kind of thinking he was gonna be, uh, the perpetrator. Or the killer, you know what I mean? I'm that woman with the big puffy hair that looks like cotton candy. You mean Lotta? That woman, she was there at that time too, right? That time. When Mystic Maya did that channeling. Oh, that time. Well... Lotta's a journalist, so that's why she was there. Journalist? <laughs> Just <laughs> always forget how uh, sheltered Pearl is. It looks like she was hanging around here before the murder happened. Hanging around? Yeah, hiding in wait in front of the Jammin' Ninja's door, pal. Is she a fan? But why would she? She wouldn't tell me, pal. She just said something about getting my big scoop. Scoop. Dude, I miss Nikkei. <laughs> scoop? Did somebody say scoop? What sort of news could she be after? So the victim was the Jammin' Ninja. Mr. Jammin' Ninja. He was on a really popular rival TV show to the Nickel Samurai, but not that popular. Oh! Oh, what the? What is he chewing on? <laughs> he's, he's handsome. He looks very, uh kind of cliche, I feel like. Attractive, like, 70s. Like, attractive actor in, like, the 1980s or, like, 70s. The victim was the action star, Juan Corita. He got a huge push and rode the express train to start him. I mean, even I know who he is. Oh, is he the one who actually had more, uh, flowers and stuff? I thought that would be, uh, the Nickel Samurai. It seemed like his was more popular, right? Yeah, even I recognize his face. 
But I heard that Matt Ongarde has been taking the wind out of his sail. Man, I always cover up the pictures. Okay, he kind of reminds me of Nikkei. <laughs> That's like, doesn't he kind of look like him a little bit? I guess it's the hair mostly. Okay, let me put it back. I'm telling you, pal, as far as who's popular, those two are hogging all the limelight. I guess there's no space for Mr. Power. I guess there's no space for Mr. Powers at all, huh? Poor guy. Um, Mr. On Guard, um, that's the Nickel Samurai, right? Oh, On Guard, people want the Ace voice. You don't have to tell me twice. I love the Ace voice! <laughs> Anytime I have an excuse to do the Ace voice. Oi! What's going on? <laughs> anyway, so now that Juan Karita's gone, that means Mr. Ungarde has the whole stage to himself, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't bet on it, pal. We can't have that happen, you know? Can't have that happen? What's that supposed to mean, I wonder? I think you- oh, God. No! Stop it! Not edgy! Thank you, Draco Nugget. I am edge Mitch Phoenix 2 Soccer on top. <laughs> you should have done the emotes, the, the on top emotes. That would be definitely very bitch coded. <laughs> God dang it, why would you do this to me? Why? What have I done to you? Okay, uh... Did I just keep talking to people, I guess? Maybe I should talk to you, I guess, uh... What's his face? Gumshoe does kind of blab a lot. Let's present you some stuff. Or actually, can I... I could probably present you a profile too, right? What is he chewing? And why is it going off the... <laughs> off the... Uh, off the screen? I'm not a real fan of action shows or anything. But I know who Juan Carita and Matt on guard are. On guard! You can't talk about one without talking about the other, I guess. They even debuted around the same time. So they have this real fiery rivalry between each other. Kind of like you and me, pal! Uh, I think my rivalry's actually with Edgeworth. You're, you're beneath me, Gumshoe. I never knew he thought of me as a rival. The Nickel Samurai. He really took the Grand Prix tonight. Maya's a big fan of his. Really? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It really is all the people that she likes <laughs> that are like uh, suspects in uh, these cases. Why are you sorry? The man on guard was just arrested, pal. On suspicion of murdering Juan Carita. What? Gasp. This is so surprising. Arrested? Why was Mr. On Guard arrested? Sorry, pal, but that's not something I can tell you. We just started the investigation, so we don't want any leaks. Looks like yet another Steel Samurai hero is in hot water. Um, this show is so cursed. Um, uh, Mr. Nick of Mystic Maya knew about this. Yeah, I know. She'd make me take this case. I know. <laughs> I know. Okay. Uh, can I present anything else to you? Take a look at that guy, I don't know. Oh, uh, probably not either, right? Nope. Okay. I guess I'll just move around. I guess I can always try to talk to Miss Old Bag. Old Bag. See if she'll uh, talk about the pictures. Oh, never mind. March 20th. Hey, so what's going on, Mr. Wright? It looks like Juan Carita has been killed. What? What is he? It looks like he was murdered and a suspect was arrested. That suspect is Mr. Matt on guard. Matt on guard. On guard is like, you know, on guard, like a pirate. Matt on guard. I'm trying to think of what the first name means, though. You're joking, right? Nope, they arrested the Nickel Samurai on suspicion of murdering the Jammin' Ninja. Oh, not again. I feel sick. Again? About a year ago, something just like this happened, Pearls. I still can't believe. No way. No way that Matt would. What's Mr. Powers got in his hand? Oh, before I forget, this this is for you, Mr. Wright. I got this from the bellboy that came by earlier. Oh, radio transceiver. A uh, seven days. <laughs> trying to think what would be a uh, go to go to Hope Speak Academy. Take a nap there. <laughs> Nothing bad will happen when you wake up. Radio transceiver, originally from the bellboy, who can transmit and receive signals over gray distances. That guy is so sketch. 
For me? But why? I don't know. All he said was that it was for Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney. Okay. I'll present some stuff to you, I guess. He debuted around the same time as Matt and everything you know. Really? Yeah, it started out small, but first it was singing contest, then swimming competitions gathered just like me and Edgeworth. <laughs> oh god, we get to hear this tragic love story. Then it was bowling, tournaments, and then it was who could throw the best. New Year's parties. Juan was always trying to one-up Matt. But lately, those two were escalating to more and more dangerous things. I thought that no good would come at all, so I began to worry. Too bad Juan's story ended so soon. Matt's younger than me, but you can practically see his star potential. His star potential? Girl, we gotta get you to some classes or something. I got his autograph the other day. Feels, feels kind of wrong now, doesn't it? I don't care what people say. Matt didn't kill Vaughn. I know he didn't. Okay. I'd like to believe that. Matt and Juan. The love, the love story of the century. Actually, that's me and Edgy. <laughs> it's not you guys. You can't steal our spotlight. Matt is the most energetic and active actor out there right now. Oh, yeah, the badge, of course. Oh, my God. I almost forgot. Thank you. The Nickel Samurai really sealed his place as a pop idol, but... He kept adding fuel to the fire of his rivalry with rivalry with Juan anyways. Mr. Juan, he's the gem and ninja, right? Those two would butt heads over everything they could think of. But I'd say that Matt was the one who almost always came out on top. I guess some people only know how to relate to others by butting heads like a ram. I wouldn't know anything about that. Juan said he'd take Matt on his time. On this time, too, so we joined a rival TV show. Okay. And that was the Jam and Ninja. The stylish Nickel Samurai and the Bird and Jam and Ninja. Well, things turned out messy real fast with those two using their shows for their war. And the final tally. Look around, it's pretty obvious how things ended up. Matt even won the Grand Prix this year. The final win over his rival, I guess. I don't know, why do I kind of feel like Juan's not dead? And he's the bellboy. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but still, what if he got face surgery to make himself look different? He changed into the into the bellboy. That could happen. Mr. Ongarde was going to hold a press conference, wasn't he? That's what I heard. Though if you wanted to get technical about it, it was the Nickel Samurai's conference. Just cause like it feels like what's his face? The Jam and Ninja um won. He has like way more reason to want to like get revenge on the Nickel Samurai on uh, Matt. So it's like kind of, it kind of makes sense in a way, you know? <laughs> he faked his own death and then made it seem like, you know, his rival killed him, ruins his career. I think surgery takes a while. No, no, this was a quick in and out, quick in and out. He got Miss Old Bag to, <laughs> to give him surgery in the bathroom. She's really talented. The Nickel Samurais. Well, if he's, okay, speaking realistically, <laughs> Not that I believe this theory, but if it were true, he's got the mask on. He's got the mask on. <laughs> he's got the mask on, so he could have gotten surgery like two weeks ago. And he's just been talking in his little ninja costume. And then all of a sudden, he pretends to die in the ninja costume. And now he's the bellboy, and he's forever looking different. Got it. Yeah, he was supposed to wear this costume and give the press conference that way. He was going to be in costume, but why? I'm not sure. They don't keep me in the loop anymore. Um, I was just wondering, where's Mystic Maya? She's been gone a long time. They also somehow think that she did the murder. It's like, if it's not Maya's favorite person getting accused, it's her. And so in this case, we're accusing both. Now that she mentions it, Maya was only going to answer a phone call. <laughs> Maybe the food's rotten. <laughs> Guys, it could happen. It could happen. Maybe she got lost. I'll <laughs> take a look around for her. Fucking raw! The food is raw, Weeby! Beep, beep, beep! Ah, okay. What is it, Mr. Nick? Huh, I'm not sure. It's coming from this transceiver. Beep! Yes, hello, right here. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney? And you are... 
You don't need, you don't need, oh my God, is this, is this who I think it is? Is this you? Is this you, Edgy? You trying to like talk to me? You're just like, you know, I know we broke up, but you still want to talk to me, even if it's like, uh, you know, even if it's anonymously. You don't need to know who I am. Who else would be this Edgy? I think you have other things to be more concerned. To be concerning yourself with such as, okay, it's totally not him. Help! Oh, Jesus Christ, somebody kidnap her? Help, Nick! What the hell? Mystic Maya! Wait, who gave who gave us this? It was, um, what's his face? Um, Powers, but he got it from somebody else. Did he say who he got it from? I didn't think this was gonna be that important! Thank you, Dragonega, but stop it! Get some help! <laughs> Not even Franny! Maya! Phone guy! <laughs> so, Mr. Wright, wouldn't you agree the more important issue is the fate of this girl? Her fate? Does he mean what I think he means? Maya, where are you? Are you hurt? Come now. Don't fall apart on me just yet. This. No, this can't be. What the hell? Now that I have now that I have your attention, Mr. Attorney. I have a modest proposal for you. If you do what I require, then I will return to you your valuable item unharmed. <laughs> Call her an item? What is it? Called again in your fancy lawyer terms? Kidnapping for ransom? Oh yes, that, that's it, I can remember the name of it. This is a kidnapping. Yes, ah, Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya. My sight, everything's fading away. Maya, Maya, Maya's been kidnapped. Are you there, Mr. Attorney, are you there? How much? How much do you want? Very good, Mr. Attorney. I'm glad you have such a good grasp of the situation. Hurry and state your condition and then return Maya. Money is not what I seek. What? What I want is a certain verdict. I would like a... Is this... Wait, is this, is this the guy? Is this a uh, Matt? Oh, I would like a complete acquittal. Complete acquittal? What in the world have you done to need? I am not the person you will be representing. Oh! What? You are currently at the Gatewater Hotel, are you not? And I know that a murder has just taken place there, because I did it! Juan Carrito was killed, and the suspect is Matt on guard. You are, as expected, quite on top of things, Mr. Attorney. Now then, what I want is very simple. I want you to obtain a complete acquittal for Matt on guard. Okay. Matt is kind of making him seem like he did it. <laughs> but why? He did not kill anyone. I can attest to that. Okay, never mind. However, however, <laughs> however, his bestie is going to be freaking guilty of kidnapping. However, however, what? However, someone is framing him for the murder. A very smart someone who is setting him up to take the fall. If I agree and do what he wants, can I believe he'll keep us end of the bargain? You are, of course... At liberty to take me at my word or not. However, there is one thing you can take as fact. Right now, you are very, you're very precious. Uh, stop calling her an item, dude. Is in my possession. Uh, help! Help, Nick! Maya! You have two days. Of course, tonight he will be questioning with the police. But the trial's in two days. At that trial, you will win a not guilty verdict. Remember, you only have one chance. One chance, Mr. Attorney. We can only have one trial? One, you expect me to get a not guilty in one trial? Uh, exactly. That'll be easy for you, right? I don't believe I was wrong in choosing you. So don't let me down. Ah! Oh, yes. That's right. Now that I am playing the role of the kidnapper, I can't pass up this chance to say. And don't even think about calling the cops. Huh, I'm not great, but <laughs> I wasn't as uh, good as I thought it would be, but whatever. Damn it, who? Who the hell are you? Very well. I'll tell you that much. My name is... <laughs> what? <laughs> D-Killer. <laughs> D-Killer. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's a fake name if I've ever heard one. Mr. Nick, where's Mystic Maya? She's been kidnapped. No, it's all my fault. Uh, girl, how is it your fault? If only I'd gone with the Mystic Maya. It's not your fault, Pearls. But it is, it is Mystic Maya. Ah! <laughs> Mystic Maya. 
Mr. Wright, I think we I think we should tell the police what's going on. But he said <laughs> D's nuts. <laughs> it does sound kinda similar to that. <laughs> D's nuts. <laughs> but D's nuts told me not to! <laughs> Oh, thank you, Bless Vane. Man, this takes diehard Stan to an extreme. <laughs> They're just a, just a Stan of his. Stan of Matt on guard. An on, an on guardian. <laughs> That's probably what his fan group would be called. Mr. Red, I think we should call the police. No, we can't do that. What will these nuts do to me? We can't do that. If we do, who knows what will happen to Maya. Mr. Nick, what about the detective we saw earlier? Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, that's it. Wait here, and I'll be right back. All right, I'll take care of Pearl while you're away. De kidnap. <laughs> what ransom? Shh, not so loud, you fucking dumbass. The ransom is complete acquittal for Matt on guard. Wait, the deal has complete acquittal. <laughs> Bro, you're about to get Maya so killed. <laughs> he told the cops immediately after. I mean, I guess it's Gumshoe, like who's basically doesn't even count as a cop, like. I guess D Killer will probably be like, oh, well, that doesn't count. He's not even a real police officer, anyways. <laughs> the duel is complete acquittal in exchange for Maya, you mean. And this means Matt on guard is obviously the killer, pal. No doubt about it. But the guy said that on guard is innocent. You believe what a kidnapper tells you, pal? I guess he has a point. <laughs> if on guard really is innocent, then why the kidnapping? And on top of everything else, there's all this evidence we keep finding. Huh? The forensics team having a field day back there. Oh. But it's strange, there's so much evidence that it feels like something's wrong. There's too much evidence. Is that possible? <laughs> I really do think that what's his face Juan isn't dead. Actually, didn't the kidnapper say something about on guard being set up? Cause like who else would want to set him up besides Juan? You know what I mean? Anyways, looks like you won't be leaving here tonight, pal. And then it's like, I don't know, it just seems like everybody who has beef against him would be like Juan or people close to Juan. And it's like, why would they kill Juan to frame Matt for it if they're trying to like help Juan? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? This is gonna be my theory. It's <laughs> gonna be the theory that I'm stuck on the whole, uh, my wrong theory that I attached to for the whole case. Just a tight and cooperate with the investigation. Tomorrow you can start yours. All right. Isn't there another way? We've also got to be careful about pushing the kidnapper the wrong way. You're right. Oh no, is this Maya? Oh, it is. Oh, my head. We actually get to see you, Tequila. <laughs> I love that name. Where am I? I wonder if I'm, st I'm still in the hotel. What happened to me? Nick, Pearly. Come on, you guys. This isn't funny anymore. Hey, at least you got an endless supply of booze. <laughs> That'll keep you entertained. Uh, hear me out. <laughs> drone Brella. That's what I believe, baby. Always a drone. Oh, what the fuck? I see you have awoken. Oh my god, it's Monokuma! Who are you? Me. I am known as uh, D Killer. <laughs> D Killer? You mean like an assassin? I'm too young to die. Don't worry. You are not my target. For now, anyways. Ah! Nick, Nick! Where are you? Help me! Yes, that's right. Only one person can save you now, and that is Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm just gonna have you play a little game! A little game with 12 other students! Huh? What? Nick? Nick's going to save me? Calm down and be a good girl. Think of this as a business transaction. A business transaction? I'm going to contact him now. I hope you cooperate and play your assigned role well. Nick, what's going to happen to me? Nick, Pearly? Sis. Oh my god. You'll be joining your sister real soon. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have the other things to be concerned yourself with, such as- Okay, just him talking on the phone again to us. March 21st, 11 a.m. Okay, I think I might take a quick bathroom break if you guys don't mind. Uh, Y'all can feel free to simp for the chair. I don't think I have a, uh, I don't think I have a plush to go with you guys. But since it seems like we're gonna kind of be on a more chill moment, I think it might be a good time to. 
but I will be back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Always like to see what uh, the chat's talking about. <laughs> Mostly Pearl. Pearl's mad at the chair. She's upset with you guys for sniffing for a chair. She's like, are you guys serious? It's a freaking chair. What's wrong with you? Good morning. Why, is she, why does she look so mad saying good morning? Good morning. <laughs> I guess, I guess, you know, Maya's kidnapped and stuff. Oh, morning, Pearls. <sighs> Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, come on. Let's hurry and go see Mr. On Guard. We have to wait a bit, Pearls. Visiting hours don't start until 9 a.m., so... Oh, I see. Uh, Mystic Maya, if only... If only I had gone with you. Poor Pearl. She's been like this since last night. We managed to get home somehow yesterday evening. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe, gently showing... Holding her hand, her by the hand and leading her here. But by the looks of it, I don't think Pearl has got any sleep, la got any sleep at all last night. Mr. Nick, Mystic Maya, she's all right, right? Yeah, she's all right, probably. <laughs> Most likely, probably, maybe. Either way, I'm gonna save her. You can trust me on that. Please, please, help her. I'm only able to stay this calm and collected because Pearls is doing the crying for both of us. Poor Pearls, she's just a little girl. You know what'll comfort you, Pearls? <laughs> I know just the thing, Pearls. She looks out of it. Maybe I should leave her alone. That'll cheer her up! Come on, Phoenix! You know that'll help her! What to do? Um, I have a thought. Huh. You're gonna represent Mr. On Guard, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really seem to have a choice. Um, but what if... What if he is the real murderer? What would you do then, Mr. Nick? We gotta save my girl Maya, so I say slay, Mr. On Guard! I mean... Sorry. Sorry about it. Um, would you fight to get a not guilty for a murderer to save Maya? Pearls, let's talk to Mr. On Guard first, okay? We can think all the bad things we want, but it doesn't change a thing. Plus, Maya, she's like an On Guard stand. She is going to defend him no matter what. That's what she would want. That's what she would want. <laughs> yeah, you're right. 
I'm sorry, I can't stop thinking about it. Maya situation. Pearls, you're really worried about Maya, aren't you? I, I don't have anyone else left in this world. What do you mean? My family's all gone. Her family, <laughs> oh yeah, I kind of ruined that for her, didn't I? My father, he left my mom in the village behind and went away, oh damn. And then my mom's a huge fucking bitch. I'm sorry. And my mother, she did that thing all for me. Yeah, Mystic Maya, she's like a sister to me. Poor Pearl. She's all I have left in this world, but what about me, Uncle Nick? Huh, can I move anywhere actually? Uh, I guess the detention center. Poor little Pearl now. It's like, I can show her more evidence, but I don't know if it's really gonna help, honestly, right now. We couldn't wait for visiting hours to start, so Pearls and I came down here early to visit one nickel samurai charged with the murder of the jammin' ninja. <laughs> he does just look like the ace voice, doesn't he? <laughs> is he gonna be like, is he gonna have like the ace kind of like vibes? Because I feel like ace is always screaming. Good morning, how are you today? He seems nice so far. Uh, I know this situation might be a little tough for you. <laughs> you gonna say anything? Uh, but we're... Oh, sorry, dude. I already signed up. Uh, excuse me? I already have life insurance. I signed up a long time ago because my job is, you know... Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no, no, we're not insurance sales people. Really? Dude, I really don't need that right now either. Um, fire extinguishers, I mean, this building isn't my house, so... <laughs> Bro, dude, no, can you just let me explain for a second? We're not here to sell you a fire extinguisher. I'm a lawyer, my name is Phoenix Wright. Lawyer. Eh, what the? <laughs> what is... Oh my god, he's got an Apple Watch. Hold on a second, I'm gonna ask my manager, okay? The Nickel Samurai sure is a strange person, isn't he? I think strange is an understatement. He's so cute! I kinda like him. I stand him. Oh gosh, it's so nice to be in a chapter where I don't have to worry about liking the characters. <laughs> Thank you, Bree the Cookie Monster. Are we still gonna cosplay Morgan and Pearl? <laughs> oh my god, for sure! For sure, 100%. God dang it, I mean I gotta be Pearl since I'm short. <laughs> I would not be shocked, I would not be shocked. I think strange is an understatement. Um, sorry about that. You're just in time. Huh? Wait, you're, you're kind of short too, actually, Brie. What would we do? One of us has to wear heels. You're a lawyer, dude, right? My man's just looking for a good one right now, so how about it? <laughs> Mr. Nick, this is our chance. I have to make, make him let me take his case. I have to. Okay. He just seems really stupid so far. What's up, Matt? Sorry to intrude, but I would like to ask you a few personal questions. Um, that's okay, but my dude... But dude, my autobiography's coming out soon, so... If I say stuff without the publisher's approval, then I'm gonna be in real hot water. Hold on a sec, I'm gonna ask my publisher, okay? <laughs> he doesn't... Do you know how to answer anything by yourself? <laughs> Mr. Uncard is so lucky! He has so many people he can talk to! Um, I don't know if he actually has anyone he can really talk to. Sorry about that. Like I thought, the publisher said it'd be real bad if I said anything, dude. Does he have a mind? Does he have a brain? <laughs> what happened? Sorry, I gotta ask my maid if I'm allowed to talk about that. Mr. On Guard, I would like to ask you about the murder. Oh, are you covering this for the tabloid side as a job, dude? No, uh, um, um, well, if you want my statement on this, you should ask through my staff. No, I'm asking on behalf of a tabloid. I'm not asking on behalf of a tabloid. <laughs> Damn it. Hold on a sec, I'm gonna ask the president of the studio, okay? <laughs> He's so stupid. I love a stupid man. Is he alright, Mr. Nick? He, he's just really, really stupid. If we're talking about Mr. Ungard's brain here, I wouldn't put my money on it. Sorry about that. The studio president said, even Neo Mount Fuji itself knows that I'm not the murderer. Um, Mr. Nick, Neo Mount Fuji. It's a mountain in the city of Neo Old Tokyo, the city of Nickel Samurai's 
Pro this, ah, the city that Nickel Samurai protects. I guess I can present some stuff to him, maybe. Uh, uh, actually, maybe I should present a profile, now that I think about it. That might be better. What do you gotta say about the guy you murdered? Oh, 21. Oh, they're both 21. They're so young. Oh my gosh. Man, it's too bad he's dead. You killed him. That's the most logical conclusion, don't you agree? Hold on a second, let me ask my publisher. <laughs> They'll remember if I killed him or not. Okay. He says I didn't. <laughs> Dude, what are you talking about? You're making a huge mistake. If that's a, such a mistake, then why did they issue an arrest warrant for you? Oh yeah, the bad. <laughs> Hold on a second, I'm gonna ask the guy in charge of this place, okay? <laughs> How do you have his number? <laughs> Stars sure know a lot of people, don't they? I wonder if that phone even really gets reception in here. <laughs> um, I guess you're right about the warrant after all. I do in fact seem to be in jail. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we might be making some progress here. Okay, what about yourself? Hold on a second! Oh yeah, I'm such a handsome devil. What a handsome bloke right there, mate. Um, yeah. And I'm way good at sports. Karate, tennis, judo, soccer, football, hockey, fencing. Dude, it's like no wonder I'm so popular. Uh, yeah. You're also good at sitting in a jail cell, Mr. Popular. Okay. Wait, 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 wait a second. Yes! Oh my god, we actually get a cutscene. Mr. On Guard, this is an attorney badge. Dude, I'm sorry, but I don't have the free tone to be looking at things like that. Wait, let me call my publisher. They can look at it for me. I'm much too busy with Nickel Samurai stuff right now. I don't have the time to take a lawyer's correspondence course. Why does he believe I'm a salesman? Insurance and extinguishers and now this? Is there anything else I can talk to him about? What happened? Uh, I guess I can just keep presenting stuff. Uh, what do you think of this? Dude, I know I like to throw money around, but it's not like I buy anything and everything. <laughs> he just thinks I'm selling him stuff. That's nice because it's not up for sale anyways. What's that? It's a ticket for the press conference. You're going to give one after winning the Grand Prix, right? Oh yeah, what was he gonna admit to? Huh, me? Yes, while you were in costume, no less. Um, well, I never heard anything like that, dude. I only heard about the stage show. Oh, you didn't even hear about that? I always leave that kind of stuff to my manager. He didn't know. That's weird. Okay, sussy. Oh, Mr. Nick, what are you going to do with that? I don't know yet, but I figured I could at least show it to him. Is that a transceiver? Hey, it looks like a real nice one, too. I wonder, would the butler be like his manager or something? <laughs> it's always talking to people on the phone. There's so many potential people he could be. The, publish the publisher, the manager, the head of the studios. Got as a present from someone. Hum, interesting. I've also been instructed to take your case. Is that what you heard from the transceiva? Yeah. Dude, that's terrible. Don't let some disembodied voice boss you around. This is coming from a man with a cell phone on his wrist. Well, dude, I think it's about time for me to get going. Please, wait! I really need to take your case. There's always other people in the need of a lawyer, right? Want me to introduce you to a few? Please, please let Mr. Nick represent you! Man, oh man, lawyers these days, now you dudes use kids to pull in clients, too. If you don't take me as your lawyer, then the killer is calling too. Who the feck is that? Wait, what did you just say? Oh, he knows him? The killer. The killer? What's he doing? He looks like he's mulling something over. All right, dude, I accept your terms. Huh? I'll let you represent me in court. We did it! We did it, Mr. Nick! Okay, you don't seem familiar with him. <laughs> that guy also bribed me, too! Or blackmailed me, too! We did it! Um, yeah, that was weirdly easy. Thank you, to whom Ajaji. Nico gave Ungarde the Kamida voice! <laughs> he did! And Chiaki Nanami Extra Life fanfic is peak fiction. I don't know if I've actually read that fanfic. I haven't really read that much Danganronpa fanfic, funnily enough. Oh, that's so funny. I can't believe he gave him the Kamida voice. <laughs> oh, that's epic. I don't feel any better for it. And he doesn't look too happy either. 
Go ahead, ask me anything. I'll help you as much as I can. Okay, cool, finally. Gonna finally talk? Not on guard. Man, I thank my lucky stars that people know my name. Well, you're quite the hero, and you're in the national spotlight. I didn't know who he is. Does that mean I'm not a good citizen? Does that mean I'm not cool? Ah, uh, it's really great to be the Nickel Samurai. Dude, lately I just keep on getting more and more popular. True enough. The Nickel Samurai is very popular among high schoolers. And secretaries right now. I guess Mr. On Guard has a way of catching the eyes of women. I wonder why. He is, he's very cute. Do you know my motto? Refreshing like a spring breeze, that's what I am. A spring breeze? That's why this kind of scandal's disastrous, dude. I mean, even if I get out of here tomorrow, it's still gonna look bad. But everyone loves a good scandal. I feel like he's so stupid that <laughs> at like some point during the trial, he might be convinced himself that he actually did it. I don't, that's so weird. I don't remember killing that guy, but <laughs> that Miss Oldback says I did, so it must have happened. Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I had that post ceremony stage show to do. So I was in my Nickel Samurai costume. And you were alone the entire time. My manager was running around getting busy, so yeah. Because of the press conference you were supposed to hold after the show. I told you, dude, I have no idea about any press conference, alright? That's strange. I thought the Nickel Samurai was going to confess something. Anyways, when I was leaving my room, that's when I noticed it was kind of noisy. Mr. Karita was already dead at that time, right? Yeah, that's what I gathered anyways from my manager. In the beginning to gather... I'm beginning to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. There's no way he managed to murder someone. And that's when the detective in the green coat showed up. He searched me, and then out of the blue, the dude arrested me. Okay, charge of murder. I guess somebody probably put on his costume right and made it seem like he did it. I mean, he does have like the most motivation, but yeah, he seems pretty stupid. I wish we could meet um, uh, Juan though, cause like, I'm kinda curious to see his personality versus uh, this guy's. <laughs> so I don't know, I guess I expected them both to be so serious based off of like the rivalry information, but this guy doesn't even look like he can comprehend a rivalry. About you and the victim, Mr. Juan Carita, what sort of, that's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with that face of his, you can't even tell he's the same age as me. He does look way older. I was thinking that too. I was like, he's 21? He looks like he's like 40 or something. At least like 35. Definitely not 21. And he wanted to try to make a jamming ninja movie, even though we all know it fucking flop. The Nickel Samurai still won in the end, right? Yeah. I took the Grand Prix by storm. So why would I, the winner, have any reason to kill the guy anyways? Dude, do you think it'd be the other way around, you know? That's literally what I was thinking too, which is why I don't think he's dead. I don't think he's dead. I, th I think he's the killer. <laughs> I don't actually think that anymore. But I still kind of feel like he's not dead. Um, do you know why you were arrested? I guess maybe my full body search went badly. Did they find something on you? They found a button from the Jammin' Ninja's costume. Okay. Who told him to put on his costume? Was it like his manager or something? It seems kind of sus. Doesn't it? Because somebody told him, I think. Or like he was going to put on his costume because he was going to do like some kind of after show performance or something. A button. I don't get it either. It was caught in the pleats of my samurai pants, a hakama. Ah! Dude, I really think someone planted it there though. I'm serious. I wonder if that's what really happened. I guess this is about all I'm gonna get out of him. Mr. Nick. Yeah? Let's ask one last thing. Let's test Mr. On Guard to see if he really is innocent or not. We can do that? Yeah. Oh yeah, if you use this. Maya's Magitana. He won't be able to hide any secrets from you, Mr. Nick. I'm sure of it. I get it. Mr. On Guard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Please answer me honestly. What is it, dude? Did you kill Mr. Juan Carita? <laughs> Wait a second, please put the phone away and answer this question yourself for once. Alright, just so we're clear, dude. 
I didn't kill anyone. And that includes Juan Carita, okay? He hasn't even really said anything about his rivalry with him so far. Well, Mr. Nick? Nothing. Not a chain or a lock in sight. Which means it's alright to trust him. But what if he's just so stupid he forgot? He's like, oh yeah, I did kill that bloke, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, it does appear that way. Well, at least I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing my client is innocent. Um, the trial's tomorrow, right? I'm counting on you, dude. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> This'll be fun. This'll be interesting. Oh, my gosh. We're not going to trial, are we? I'm <laughs> like, wait a second. Right. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I was like, I'm not ready for a trial just yet. Kind of scared me when it showed the trial background. Oh, she angry again. Well, at least we're able to get Mr. Matt on guard as our client. And we know that he didn't do it, which is very important. So, what do we, sh what, so now, ah, so now what should we do? Oh my God, I cannot read today. The trial is tomorrow and we only get this one chance. There's only one way to prove Mr. On Guard's innocence. We have to find the real killer. Okay, let's start looking. Oh man, you know what I'm starting to realize? This really is truly <laughs> the It's Vivian time. <laughs> we have not seen any sign of Edgeworth in sight. Not even close to seeing him. He's not gonna show up till the very end of the whole entire trial, right? The whole entire case, and then at the end just be like, oh, I'm here, okay, bye. The end! I oh, might be in the next game though, maybe. <laughs> oh god. I should have known. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't come in without a. Good morning! Hold on, it's you! What is going around going on around here? Um uh I heard poor Wad was killed, is that true? It's a bad rerun. Is what this is another steel samurai doing the most of evil deeds? Um, you know, he's not even, he's literally not even a suspect. That's not entirely. I'll have you know that I was a huge fan of wands. Why, oh why do all the stars I'm interested in drop one by one like flies? It's always been that way. Ever since the look at the hamster was fine to the dome of, until like all the files got the queen reaper and then ever since the name dispelled the die, they made it out of time. Um, actually. <laughs> Jesus. I wanted to ask you about the murder and what happened. Um, don't push me, boy. Um, Mr. Nick, I, um, I couldn't hear everything she said because she was talking too fast. You don't want to know what she was talking about. Mrs. Oldback, could you please speak a little slower? Don't boss me around, you spunky hands, body pens! <laughs> I love the rat -ta. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. I've ever listened to this to her yet. I don't have anything to say to do with liquids like you. Girl, she's clamming up like the old clam she is. Please, anything would be helpful. Well then, how about I tell you my measurements? Um, no, God, no, please not. <laughs> my, my waist is 10 inches. I'm a skinny queen legend. <laughs> and my buttocks is 40 inches. <laughs> I got the body built like Kim K, as you can see. That doesn't sound real. She doesn't like you, does she, Mr. Nick? Yeah, the feeling's mutual. Okay, let's uh, talk to her, I guess. The victim. My dear Hammer died a year ago in that dreadful murder. And only recently did I finally find a star that makes his this heart go ba dump again. I don't know what to say. I ask you, why does every star I cheer for always end up kicking the bucket? <laughs> Maybe we should just arrest her. <laughs> it does kind of seem like there's some sort of correspondence. I'd watch your words. No one's gonna get away with saying anything about my wand. But I haven't said anything. Well, I don't believe a word that woman says anyways. Uh, what woman? That irritating backwater girl. Oh, with the afro and the horrible country accent. I mean, what is the matter? A manner of speaking is supposed to be. And why does she never stop? <laughs> I would never know what that's like. Honestly, it was a big man that was beautiful with the flowers and blush. And just why did I press on flowers where the stars brought the bones? <laughs> Pearls, are you? Do you want to leave right now? I'm a little. Okay, I'll go get you some juice or something. Thank you very much. Hey, are you paying attention to youngins today? So I'm guessing this old back heard everything from Lotta. Okay, maybe we should just find Lotta. <laughs> Tell her 
talk to her instead. I want to ask you about what happened around the time of the murder. Oh, I don't know anything about that. I was here getting ready. Getting ready for what? The show, of course. Well, and the press conference afterwards. <laughs> I forgot she does the slay and the yes. <laughs> the yes hand. Anyways, I don't know anything about the murder. This is literally just me in like 50 years. Oh, I see. Bad. But if you're talking about what I said, that's different. I saw it very clearly. What? I saw the most important moment of the night. Oh, what you witnessed, okay. The most important, the most important moment, you don't mean. Oh, so now you treat me with respect, you disrespectful child. When you speak to your elders, you should always be polite. Really, kids today? Please tell me, what did you see? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Of course you would get the chains, you bitch. Oh my god, four of them, girl! The murder last night was gruesome, wasn't it? Please don't stray onto another tangent. Please. If you want to hear more, then show your respect and bring this- <laughs> Oh, it's just like the Steel Samurai case all over again. Oh my god. Oh, uh, why you in a- Yeah, it's just fucking me. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, what does she think of Matt, actually? I don't have anything to say to Lingmas like you. Blah, 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 blah. No, I don't want to see I don't want to see your freaking measurements, weirdo. Oh, really? She's not going to say anything about her, uh... Her mans? <laughs> okay, what about yourself? <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> she looks so goofy with the fishbowl on her head. Okay, I guess we'll just move somewhere. We'll probably have to get some more stuff. We're Jilfs! Like, what? Jilf! <laughs> what are y'all talking about? Mrs. Old Bag? Oh yeah, did I? I didn't miss a donation, did I? I kind of remember seeing one. Let me double check. Okay, no, 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 I got that one. Okay, cool. Looks like the investigation is still in full swing. I'm kind of out of it today, if you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> Pride the medicine. The hotel staff and police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. I wonder if we can do any investigating of our own in this kind of atmosphere. Well, got to roll up the sleeves and try, I guess. Okay. Anywhere else I can move? I guess there's a hallway. I can't think of... <laughs> Someone who is less of a gilf than, than Mrs. Oldbag. Hey, you're here! Been waiting for you, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, Lada. I have missed you so much. You know, seeing Miss Oldbag really makes me, really makes me appreciate you, girl. Hey, Mr. Cop Fela, the thief showed his face! Oh, what the fuck? Okay, never mind. Fuck you, Bill! I was just, put him on trial! Give him guilty! Give him the dance panel! Shut up! Never mind! I hate you too still. What's wrong, Lotta? Are you feeling all right? Looked here and there and up and down the mound, but it ain't here. So why don't you hurry up and give it back to me, you creep? Um, what are you looking for? My camera. Camera. It's my lifeblood. I'm gonna die without my $700 camera. Your camera? Look, don't lots of people say the criminal always goes back to the scene of the crime? And looky, looky, here you are, y'all. Yep, here I am, faced with a, a lot of trouble. <laughs> huh? And that was lame, Phoenix. I know, I know. Camera. I wonder. I guess maybe like the criminal took it because uh, I don't know. She got a shot of something they didn't want her to see. I mean, Lana would lie on your behalf on the witness stand. <laughs> she always does that. So you lost your camera. It ain't no ordinary camera. You buy in a store and it's $1,600 brand new. You just said it was $700. Um, but didn't you just say you bought it for $700? I, have a I had a nice long talk with the guy at the store. About five hours, I reckon. I made this itty bitty scratch on it. And the manager got all huffed up in my face. He gave me his talking to and was real mean about it too. He done made me cry at that. When did you lose your camera? Last night, after the murder happened. Must have been when I was busy running around looking into things. That's when I lost sight of my dear, darling, expensive sweetie. Lotta, what did you capture with that expensive camera of yours? I don't really know. I snapped a shot of anything that caught my eye. 
So I don't remember. Insides, I couldn't get anything for my big scoop. Wonder if Lada's missing camera is even connected to the murder. Probably. Very expensive item valued at 1600. It was stolen around the time of the murder. Okay. Definitely suspicious. What happened? Lada, please tell me what you know about what happened at the time of the murder. Well, from before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Yeah, actually, I was here until the time Mr. On Guard was arrested. What were you doing here? You sure went to school? You sure you went to school, city boy? Wherever Lotta Heart goes, there's a story to be found. A big a scoop to be had. A big scoop. I told you before, I'm gonna be the best tabloid photographer the world has ever seen. Reckon, of course, that means I'm always looking for the perfect shot. I wonder what scoop she was after this time. You know, I gotta say, the good thing about Miss Oldback showing up in this case is maybe she'll finally be guilty and we'll lock her up <laughs> and we'll lock her away for good. <laughs> she would definitely be a suspicion for a murder or a crazy fan. Because first of all, she is crazy. Second of all, she is a huge stan. We got it. Although I was also on the lookout for other stars that were here. So maybe I wasn't here the entire time. Big scoop. Lotta, are you sure you weren't here the entire time? So you can take a picture for your big scoop. Well, maybe I was, but that's what real journalists do. Oh, present the badge and pearls. Okay, I'll try to remember to do that before I, uh, before I do it. Before I leave. I got some juicy inside info, so I thought to myself, why not get a picture for proof? What kind of story was it that you would hang around here? Oh, god dang it. All these freaking- uh, Okay, at least she's only two. Oops, sorry, Mr. Lawyer. Can't be telling you that trade secret, you know? Oh, uh, why does everyone have something to hide? Besides our brainless- <laughs> Our brainless uh, himbo <laughs> on guard, eh? We've been stopped, haven't we? Ha, uh, yeah. Take that, Mr. Lawyer. I'm glad someone around here is happy. Miss Lotta and your eye roll smile. Okay, let me present the stupid badge and stuff to you. Um, do you know anything? So, I've told you how many times now I'm a journalist. I got so much info running laps in my head, I forget things here and there. Please, don't get so worked up over this. Ha, I don't care if you beg me. Be extra tough on kids. That's this gal's motto on learning youngsters. Okay, let's present pearls, what you guys said. I uh, just want to say sorry to you. For... Well, I really absolutely thought you were the... <laughs> I totally thought you did it, kid. Oh, what? <laughs> you know, last time, that thing with my... Okay, I can't... I can't judge her because I kind of thought she was the murderer, too. In my defense, I thought Morgan made her do it, okay? What? But why? I mean, you were all worked up, you know? <laughs> Stiffle. Meanie. Lana, that was very insensitive of you. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. What do you think about, um, Miss Oldbag, by the way? This old granny? Uh, she kept on glaring at me with those eyes of her. As if it's my fault. Kept blabbing how she won't forgive people who write trash about her Juan. Oh yeah, we sort of got into a little fight, you know? A little fight. Knowing these two is probably more of a blabbering contest. <laughs> I really care for them heroes. Oh, I see. And shows they got for kids. These adventures are just plain old boring. Now, adults, we get more caught up in a messy, sticky, real situations. Even me. Oh, sounds like the tax kitten. What's what I'm going with this? Wait a sec here. Don't go around getting her mixed up in things like that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's just the same thing. That makes sense. I guess I could try to see. Okay, let me save and then maybe I'll try to see her locks just to kind of get an idea of what I need to uh, do. I think old bag wanted me to like bring her something, right? Oh wait, what am I, do I present it here? I, can't, I can never remember. Take that! Okay. Big scoop. Aw oh, man, I wish Nikkei was here. Lotta, will you please answer my questions? On the night of the murder, why were you loitering around the victim's room? I told you, didn't I, for my scoop? What I want to know about are the details of this scoop. 
That's not something I can tell you. I mean, that there's my bread and butter. All right then, an unpleasant tabloid photographer looking for a scoop. I'm going to say that you were looking into a scandal. Grr. Could it be that you lot of heart were looking for a break with a huge story? Perhaps an unfolding scandal between Ron and this person. Okay, that seems pretty easy then. And old bag, <laughs> I wish. Who the heck is that? Um, you think ass journalists are all a bunch of it? Wait, but really, it's not him? You can't fool me. I'm a pro. Wait, is it old bag? Oh, really? So who's this person anyways? If you're such a pro, why don't you do your own research and figure it out? Uh, let's try that again, shall we? Really? But they're the ones who got like the drama, the feud going on. Hart, you were looking for a break with a huge story. Perhaps an unfolding scan between Juan Carita and himself. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Will Powers? <laughs> Old bag? <laughs> uh, why not? Take that. Take that. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> oh my god. Who, do I not have the profile yet? Who's this person anyways? Okay. I kind of want to try Will. Since we're already here, we might as well, right? God damn it. Okay. <laughs> okay, how do I exit? How do I exit? How do I exit? Let's go. Let's go. Let's back up. Back up. Back up. Let's leave. No more. No more pain. No more suffering. Don't think I have enough evidence. <laughs> okay, let's load my save file. That was rough. I probably yeah, need more evidence. Okay, it seems like seems to be what chat's saying too. I just thought it would be easy. I was like, they have a beef. Oh, oh, of course I can go to these hotel rooms too. On Garde's hotel room. Gatewater Hotel. Um, where are we? We're in Mr. Matt on Garde's dressing room. This is our client's room. May I help you with something? Oh, what the? I thought I was gonna be the butler. Um, uh, we're... You're Mr. On Guard's lawyer, correct? I gathered as much. I also looked for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? You were just saying that he is your client. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. Wow, and she's so smart! It's a simple deduction, really. The trial is tomorrow, and Mr. On Guard's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here one stop in your mad dash to find clues to build this case, correct? She seems kind of odd. Oh well, you're totally right, but you're not totally off either. It's not really the time to be showing off, Mr. Nick! Wait until I show her my badge! <laughs> I'm Adrian Andrews. I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. Alright. She may be of small stature, but appearance can be deceiving. Huh. She does kind of look like me, doesn't she? <laughs> uh, let's talk. Nigh the murder. Looks like me if I did my bangs more like... <laughs> more straight ahead. Oh, she does give Ray Makaru vibes too. I assume first thing you need to know is what everyone was doing that night, correct? Yeah, that is correct. Then I will tell you. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. On Guard. In this very room, I might add. Dinner? What did you eat? I told you I hate to waste time with trifling details. Is she his, like, girlfriend? She seems too smart for him, though, to be honest. <laughs> if you look at the table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. I bet she was a lot of fun at parties. When the awards show was starting, I headed for Viola Hall. And after the show ended, you came back to this room. No, I had some small errands to run. Helped with the preparations in the lobby. Oh. Preparations for the post-ceremony show, I guess. When it was time for the post-ceremony show, I came back to call for Mr. On Guard. After that, I went to visit Miss Carita. Mr. Carita. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? Okay, so she was the first person that found the body. You really held strong through everything. <laughs> it's like, that makes me think you're guilty, girly. Yeah, she does seem to be mentally tough as nails. She does seem to be very tough, but... Um, so, about you and... Stop right there. You aren't seriously about to ask how Mr. On Guard and I are related, are you? 
Um, sorry? I have no idea how he could choose you as his lawyer. Why'd you have to go and say- Why'd you have to be so mean? Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a shoulder rub to relieve your stress later, okay? Girl, you can't even reach my shoulders. I already gave you my name earlier, and I'll add that I'm Mr. On Guard's manager. Oh, his manager. The one who has to think for him. His manager. Speaking of managers, did the victim, Miss Karita, have one? Mr. Karita have one? No, he did not. Was she the one who told him to put his costume on? She's kind of sussy to me, honestly. He didn't. Global Studios is a very different policy from Worldwide Studios in that. Worldwide Studios does not assign individuals' managers to the stars. I see. This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself to your poor partner. Dragging a little girl like her to places like this, honestly. You're wrong! I, I'm doing this to help Mystic Maya! Who the hell is that? Pearls, calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you a juice later, okay? Ah! Okay, interesting. I I can <laughs> present my badge. That'll change your mind. Um, I'd like to ask you about this. I told you, I hate trifling matters. It's a waste of time to show me things that are of no relevance to me. Well, this is the first time I've been shut down this badly. Okay, I guess I could do the profiles first. This seems to be helpful so far. Did you know the victim, Mr. Karita? Yes, I knew him. The world is such a place after all. What is that on her card? Like a seashell or something? It's like, it looks like a seashell or like a, I don't know, a teacup or something. Thank you, Desparta, for the donation. Appreciate ya. Did you know about his rivalry with the Nickel Samurai? Honestly, if there were children, they were like children when it came to that. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over the most trivial things. I guess, um, Juan could have also been really stupid. <laughs> Only two stupid people <laughs> could uh, have a rivalry against each other like that. If either one of them wasn't so stubborn, then maybe no one would have needed to die. Oh, damn, she really thinks he did it, doesn't she? I've got a hunch that this woman knows more than she's letting on. She must know why Juan was killed. Okay, yikes. I asked to become Mr. On Guard's manister manager. He's a pleasure to manage with his nice disposition. Um, Mr. On Guard does seem like a rather weak-willed man. Always doing as he's told. She is such a girl boss. She really is like a Ray Makaru. He's always saying my manager, right, Mr. Nick? Hmm. She is so sus. I totally think she did it. What do you think about Miss Old Bag? Okay, never mind. <laughs> you think I really have thoughts on that? <laughs> on that winch? Okay, let me, um, anything else I can present to you, actually? Nickel Samurai can, oh yeah, confess something. You might know about this, right? You were the one taking care of the arrangements for this press conference, right? Yes, that's right. But Mr. On Guard said he didn't know about it. Uh, uh, oopsie, that's so weird. That's so crazy and quirky. Oh, thank you, Hanada Hajime. Thanks for being a member for two months. Oh my god, she's my queen. I finally caught your stream again. Have fun. This is one of my fave cases. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, a lot of people do seem to really uh, enjoy this case, so I'm excited. All the characters seem interesting so far. Is that what he said? Huh? Actually, I didn't know all the details either. It was a request from the publicity department. Okay. All I did was help out and do what I was asked. Oh, I see. I wonder about that. I wouldn't take her to be the type of person to do something without knowing the details, for sure. For sure, are you Dicula? <laughs> okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, nope. Is that gonna be all then? I guess you might talk about the, uh... Okay, motive for murder. Do you have any ideas? As to, as to why Mr. Carito was murdered. Why would you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job, so do you have any ideas? Oh, God dang it, all you people with your freaking lock and chains. <laughs> oh my lord, another four ones? Mrs. Andrews, everybody's so sussy this trial. Sorry, but there's nothing more I, I can add to this conversation. Is that a psyche lock, Mr. Nick? Yeah, there is getting to be more and more of these lately. Jesus, dude, another one? Thank you, cursed lord of cats. Thanks for being a member for four months. But why would the girl boss slay? <laughs> if cute, how evil. 
<laughs> a girl boss slang? No, no way. Okay, let's try the other room and see if there's anything here. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> My man loves bears. That's how you know he's working with the Monokuma butler. Um, Nick, where are we? We're in Juan Carita's room, pearls. What the hell? I think he likes bears. I don't know if you guys noticed. Oh, he threw one in the trash, though. Oh, my God. Mr. Carita. Oh, my God. He was a furry. Which makes this the crime scene, too. Oh. Oh, it's you. So, what's happened? The kidnapper. Has he contacted you again? Not yet. He probably won't until we win Mr. On Guard's acquittal. Um, you doing okay, pal? Hanging in there. I just want Maya to be all right. <sighs> we don't have a lot of time left, but I'm gonna help you as much as I can, pal. Can you do that, even if we want to look around the crime scene? Just this once. Special circumstances, right, pal? Oh, that's- look at you, Gumshoe, actually being nice to me for once. I'll tell you everything I know, but you gotta keep quiet. It's my neck on the line here. Thank you. Oh, that's right. I got you guys a map of the hotel, pal. Look at you- this is so nice! It's like the first time Gunshu's ever helped me. I guess even he loves Maya, too. Here you go, little missy. Wow, you're giving it to me? Thank you! Ha! Ah, wouldn't want you to get lost in a hotel. Too big for its own good. Mr. Nick, I got a map! That's great, Pearls. Um... But, Mr. Nick, I can't read what it says. Hotel guide map... Does she not know how to read? Map of the Gatewater Hotel around the crime scene. Nice. Okay, cool. What is up with all these bears, dude? Cause of death. Do you know what was the cause of death? Well, technically the final autopsy report isn't out yet, but... One look at the victim should tell you, pal. It should? I was like, we still haven't even looked at <laughs> his body or anything yet. Yeah, here's a picture. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Is that a butter knife? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this does not look like a real knife. <laughs> oh, this guy totally fucking faked his death, didn't he? <laughs> oh yeah, let me hot glue gun this butter knife into my chest. <laughs> it's totally in my heart, going not in my shoulder. <laughs> I'm sorry, god dang it. I'm gonna be stuck on this stupid fucking theory the whole chapter. And I know it's probably wrong, but you gotta be kidding me, dude. That is the most unintimidating knife I've ever seen. There's a knife in his chest, and then, like, what's his face? He got the button, uh, Matt got the button in his jacket before, like, the murder even took place. You gotta be kidding me, dude. This is so so Exotic butters? <laughs> An exotic- Weeby, you don't understand. Exotic butter knives are so sharp. They're so much sharper. Yeah, pal, that's the murder weapon. So he was stabbed to death. They're looking at the fingerprints down at the lab right now. There were fingerprints on the knife. Yep. And it looks like they're pretty sure they're Mr. On God's prints, pal. That's bad. Real bad. Crime at <laughs> I'm sorry, this stupid photo, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. It barely looks like it's even in there. It looks like it's just like piercing right through his clothes. It looks like it's like that much of the knife is actually in something. <laughs> You are so full of shit, Mr. Karina. And I know you're actually 35. Thank you, nobody out of the ordinary. Phoenix tries to do his job, everyone else. Let's keep secrets from the law enforcement, basically. <laughs> That's just his total life, dude. Thank you for the dono. Okay, let's keep talking to him, I guess. Do you say anything anymore when I present this to you? What do you know about this? Um, there's nothing special I can tell you about this, pal. Look, pal, we don't have a lot of time. Why don't you show me something more important? If Miss Von Karma saw me here like this, I'd have to switch sides real fast. <laughs> hey, man, he is just Von Karma's little bitch, isn't he? Reason for arrest. Why was Mr. On Guard arrested? Because we had evidence on him. Examine the bears, Weeby. Trust me, it's worth it. Okay, I'll do it uh, after I get done talking to him. I definitely wanted to investigate this room. <laughs> I kind of forgot to investigate the other room, but this one's definitely a lot more, a lot more interesting. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm about to be cooking, burning down the kitchen yet again. You know what happened, dude? What's going on in this case? 
So he's not dead. He's got a little stuffed Freddy Fazbear plush right here where the knife pierced him. It makes sense. It makes sense. And he's using that as protection, right? And then he's just got some ketchup. Oh my god, does he even have... Ugh, homie's got some wine right there. Is that opened up wine to look like fake blood, homie? I'm one step ahead of you. One... Ten steps ahead of you. You're playing checkers? I'm playing chess. Evidence! Looks like the victim, Juan Carita, really put up a big fight. Oh, wow, this is a huge... <laughs> a little doggy, the bear dog. <laughs> oh my god, is that a golden Freddy back there? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, one look at the crime scene and you can tell. There are signs of a struggle everywhere. Well, yeah, during the fight... His button came off. Mr. On Guard said something about a button. Something like one of the Jammin' Ninja's buttons got caught in his Akama. But that's not all. What? There was a witness, pal. A witness? Who was it? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> no! That lady, Mrs. Can she have done it? Can she be. Can she be the culprit this time? I'm tired. I'm sick of her, dude. Please, anyone but her. Please, anyone! The prosecution has plenty of evidence to make a solid case. Not to mention there's something around where the Vic was that's a little off. Something that's a little off. As in, have you noticed the thousand bears in here? As in, that's for you to figure out, pal! Alright, let's try to figure it out, Mr. Nick! Okay, I want to look at these stupid bears. <laughs> oh my goodness, another Golden Freddy back there, I see! Wow, there are a lot of bears! Oh, we should give one to Pearly! He's not using them anymore, you know? So, <laughs> I guess these bears might be haunted, though. Alarm clock ones, collector's edition, stuffed teddies, plastic models. Did he really need to bring this? Like, this is literally just his hotel room. Like, does he bring this many bears with him constantly? Like, did he have to really bring the life-size bear statue? It's pretty overwhelming, is there? A kind of bear he doesn't have. There's even a few in the trash can! Yeah, I get the feeling maybe the guy didn't really like bears. <laughs> Poor teddies. It's hard to bear with all these problems! Growl! <laughs> get out of my- Get out of my dreams, man! Get out of my head! <laughs> like the fact- I like to think that Mo uh, became Phoenix's, like, sleep, sleep paralysis demon. I don't think I want to bear with the trauma the last case caused me! <laughs> Same! What do you mean, last case, Phoenix? There was no last case! <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Oh god, too many things. <laughs> too many things to speak of. It's a suitcase. There are so many things in it that I bet it barely closes. There's his clothes, a dryer, electric shaver, calculator. Do all the stars pack too much stuff like Mr. Karita? Chips or something. Hump, it's so messy here. Pearls really likes things neat and tidy, I take it. There are a lot of electronic things in here I've never seen before. Hey, Mr. Nick, tell me what they are, pretty please. Okay, that over there is a watch. You wear it on your wrist. <laughs> I feel like we're talking down to her, man. I know what a watch is. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> For a second, I forgot I was talking with Pearls, not Maya. <laughs> That's a This is a chair. Do you know what a chair is? I know what a freaking chair is, Nick. <laughs> there are all sorts of things in this refrigerator. The carrot juice bottle and the tomato juice bottle are both empty. Empty? It's too much of a hassle to throw them away, I guess. They're all vegetable juices. What is this guy? Is like just a giant child. <laughs> Drinking vegetable juice with little bear stuffed animals. I guess he must have been a real health nut. I say as I have. I'm like making fun of him, but I have like 50 plushes behind me <laughs> in my uh, bookshelf. Like what a nerd, dude. Who would own this many plushies? Oh, there's a beet, some ketchup, and a bottle of strawberry jam too. Maybe red was his favorite. <laughs> This guy's so suspicious, dude. More fake blood evidence! More fake blood evidence. It never ends. It never freaking ends. Okay, is it like a rice cooker? Seems like we're good there, at least. Oh yeah, it's a guitar. This is a guitar case, I guess. A little beat up, but it's still usable. That's strange, the guitar is not here. 
Maybe he forgot to bring it to the show? That's like his signature item, though. But Mystic Maya, she said the bright red guitar was Jim and Ninja's signature item. Uh, I guess red is his uh, favorite color, isn't it? More red juice. Oh my gosh, he's got the wine glass for his tomato juice. I was wondering, I thought that was wine, but I was like, is that a tomato on it? I was like, what the hell? That's true. Huh? This guitar case is wet, but it's only wet on the top of the lid. Oh, weird. Yeah, there's no water inside the case. This is water, isn't it? It looks kind of red. <laughs> like, I see it over here and it looks kind of red, but maybe it's just the decolorization of the brown that makes it look that way. Found next to the victim empty. There's some water, but only on the top of the lid. Okay, I guess, yeah, I guess it's just the way the water makes it look. Okay. Bunch of stuff knocked over. His makeup. Bottles of cosmetics are scattered all over the floor. This is probably where Mr. Karita fought his assailant. Assailant. What are these bits of glass from? A flower vase, maybe? There are flowers on the floor, but I don't know what they are. You don't know much about flowers, do you, Mr. Nick? Okay. Oh my goodness, the bears are so cute, though. <laughs> he is kind of weird for that, but also they're kind of adorable. Oh my goodness, look, there's a shad bear back there. Oh my goodness, click on Golden Freddy. So that's a bed, right? Yep, it's big, but it's a bed. Ah, oh, Mr. Nick, it's so soft. Big beds must be a rarity for her. Okay. That's cute. Wholesome. Uh, anything else here? Oh, yeah. What the hell is this? I kind of noticed this. It's like red stuff on here. It looks like bones and like peas or something. It looks like Mr. Karita had dinner last night. This bottle. It's tomato juice. What kind of psycho drinks tomato juice? I'm sorry. Like, I hear about, like, people, like, sell tomato juice. I'm like, somebody drinks it, but, like... Why would you, like, why would you do that to yourself? I, like, I just don't get it. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I tend to be, like, one of those people who likes health foods and stuff, you know? Like, gross health foods. But even I'm just like, tomato juice? That's too far. It's just gotta, it's gotta taste like drinking ketchup, man. We had a lot of food at the award show last night. But I wonder if the stars had gone on stage after only eating a meager meal like this. I feel like everyone in the chat's gonna be like, but Weeby, I love tomato juice. But tell me why in the comments section. That is something I, I will never understand. Oh man, it's like V8 and it's like tomato juice mixed with like strawberry and it's like you just ruined strawberry juice. Like, you just ruined it. But like watermelon juice mixed with tomato. It's like, why would you ruin a perfectly good juice? It's a beautiful wine glass and there's tomato juice in it. Ew, tomato juice. I don't really like it very much. There's a bottle of it on the table over there. That's probably where this came from. But doesn't it seem weird? What well, seems weird? I like that he drinks it in a fancy wine glass. Hmm, yes, yes. Let's pretend to drink wine. I mean, everything else is scattered all over the floor. She's right. The flower vase was broken. The makeup is strewn everywhere. Why is this glass the only thing that's still all right? Wine glass, add to the court record. Found next to the victim. It's filled with tomato juice. No sign of it being drank. Oh yeah, actually. Oh no, 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 no. I wanted to uh, do this again. I want to present the uh, manager to him. I don't think I've done that yet, right? I feel like that could be important. She's missed on God's manager, right? No matter what I do, I really stink at talking with people like her. And as soon as I open my mouth, I get all flustered. See, she's one of those women with a... <laughs> One of those women with a brain, you know, it's so rare. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean, gumshoe? <laughs> One of those few women, like Von Karma. He's just got that Von Karma, that Francesca Von Karma trauma. So he just, whenever he sees a girl boss, he just gets terrified. He can already feel himself being whipped. She's someone who gets things done. Dude, her and Von Karma will get along great. Yeah, she does give me that sort of impression, like she's got it all together. Compared to her, you can easily tell I'm a can't-do-anything-right kind of guy. That's why I get all nervous and start messing up. I feel sort of bad for him. <laughs> okay, I guess I could present the other profiles, too. I don't know if it's really going to be that important. I guess I'll... I thought she was an alien from outer space. Yeah, me too. I thought she was Among Us. Yeah, probably because she's wearing that strange helmet. Nah, even with her helmet off, I thought she was an alien. <laughs> she is weird, dude. I think that's probably best you keep it to yourself, if you know what I mean. You are a dead man if you say that to her. Hey, why don't we let bygones be bygones, pal? Look, this guy is guilty. A buck says so. One dollar? 
You sure you're not talking about Pearl's allowance money? <laughs> A whole dollar! That's my entire- t That's my entire salary! I can't bet any more than that my salary. It's- It doesn't matter what we think. I still have to defend Miss- Mr. On Guard in court or else. Mr. Nick! Okay. I'm not a real fan of action shows or anything. But I know who Juan Carita and Matt on guard are. You can't talk- You can't talk about one without talking about the other, I guess. They even debuted around the same time. So they have this real fiery rivalry with each other. They're such rivals to lovers. Kinda like you and me, pal! <laughs> it's, you are not my rival, dude. I don't know who told you that. I never knew he thought of me as a rival. Okay, I think I already did that one, actually. Let's go back to the other room. I could probably present some stuff to her, or try, but I feel like she's not gonna have it, to be honest. Oh, why does he get a smaller room? I can't Q slide in here. Okay. So we'll do this first. There's some samurai looking clothes on the sofa here. Um, I think that jacket thing looking thing is called a happy. A happy. Whatever it is, I'm sure something like that would make a great souvenir. Mine would be absolutely thrilled. Okay. It's probably Mr. On Guard's suitcase. For someone who is only going to be here for an award show, this is a lot of stuff. Looks like he has about three days worth of clothes here. Stars really are different from us, aren't they? That's the bedroom there. That's a bed? Wow, they have a really big beds here. Okay. Oh my god, is that some exotic butter I see? Is that some exotic butter I see on the table? Looks like dishes left over from dinner. A dinner for two at that. I'm sure they're Mr. On Guard and Miss Andrew's plates. Looks like they had T-Bone steaks. What's with Global Studios and T-Bone steaks? Yeah, for real. <laughs> what is up with that? Literally, we even have the butter for the knife, guys. I'm cooking. I don't care what y'all say. The food is not raw. The kitchen is not on fire. I'm cooking. I'm cooking here. There's a giant bone sitting on the plate. I don't really like meat. Um, there's something weird about this plate. I just wish I could put my finger on what it is. The knife is missing the butter knife. I fucking knew it. It's gonna try to tell me it's a steak knife. God dang it. It's gonna try to ruin my theory already. Um, anything else in here I can click on? Okay, that kind of seems to be it. Not really too much in here. I guess I could always try to talk to Miss Old Bag again. I don't know if this girl's gonna talk to me at all. Want a photo of Juan Carita's murder scene? Surely you talk about this? God dang it. I told you, I hate traveling matters. <laughs> well, that's not important enough for me to comment on. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, Mr. Wright, how are you? Ah, Mr. Powers, have you been here the entire time? Yeah, people connected to the murder aren't allowed to go home, let alone leave. Okay, uh, I guess I can talk to you too. Nickel Samurai. Can you tell me a little more about the Nickel Samurai TV show? Okay. Nickel Samurai, action hero program, aimed towards kids. I feel like we already kind of got the rundown on this, but if the game wants me to ask, I guess we can. It's the sequel to the Steel Samurai. I see. This time there were three samurai brothers, Aluminum Samurai, Tin Samurai, and of course the Nickel Samurai. It's a love why in Neo Old Tokyo. I see, wait. A love what? A love why? This girl, Seu, who works in the tea shop, and all three guys fall for her at the same time. Oh, I guess the Y shape is like the three brothers. <laughs> for a second, I was about to be really concerned. <laughs> you thought the last chapter was problematic, Weeby? <laughs> oh my god. Colliding over over one girl. Anyway, Seo is actually the daughter of the evil Strawberry Clan's leader. Sounds like an unusual situation, like Romeo and Juliet times three. Yeah, strange thing is, this sort of forbidden love is really big with the office ladies. Ah, uh, so that's why it's popular with the ladies. <laughs> it's like a soap opera almost. Yes, Pearl. What happens next? Oh my god, <laughs> she's so cute! I have to know! Miss Sayo, does Miss Sayo fall in love? She does, doesn't she? 
every Sunday at 8 a.m. I'm gonna stop watching Kids Masterpiece Theater starting this week! <laughs> I can't believe she's really considering it. Oh, that's so cute. I love Pearl, man. She's so adorable. So what's the Jammin' Ninja TV show like? It started from a remake of an old movie to tell you the truth. The Jammin' Ninja, like the samurai shows, it's geared towards kids. Bean, it's about a fat deer. The story of a ninja who can't scale a wall, but became a big pop star anyways. Uh, what? Does he even really do ninja things? He was a really lousy ninja, but absolutely couldn't do, absolutely couldn't do any ninja things at all. But boy, could he sing! With his trusty bright red guitar in hand, he took the ancient world by storm. A ninja with a bright red guitar? <laughs> oh, literally, like something so obvious, like why would a ninja use something bright red? And then, a final fight in front of his beloved Princess Mazzola. Jammin' versus the Muramaki Five. Suddenly our brave hero catches a not so jammin' cold. The night before Battle Three. Oh, that's too bad for him. Yeah, but this kind of pop music based love story is something high school girls really like. Is she into it too? Um... Yes, Pearl. What happens next? I gotta know! Jammin', the Jammin' Ninja! Will he be able to sing? What about Princess Mazzola? Are they selling cosplays of her nearby too? Every Sunday at 8 a.m. But now I gotta choose. Which show should I watch? I can't believe she's really considering it. Oh, that's so cute. I love you, Pearl. You're adorable. Sorry. Thanks for taking the time to take it out and show it to me. But I'm really sorry. I don't know a thing about it. I guess I can maybe present profiles or something. Do you know uh, Adrian? She seems to be the most sussy so far. Hey, that's Miss Andrews. She's Matt's manager. Actually, I was interested in her for a little bit. Uh, just, just a little. Um, so Mr. Powers likes this type of woman. What do you know about Miss Andrews? Well, see, here's the thing. I don't really know her. Know her, you know. I just thought she was cute. Ah! There is sort of a small rumor going around about her right now. A rumor? Oh, if you're interested, I'll be glad to share what I know. He's so happy. He looks like a lion that's just found his next meal. Okay, I figure it might be her and uh, what's his face? Uh, Matt, that were, um, like, I don't know, the one that we have to do for Lada, the big scoop. They got into a fight or something. Would you mind telling me about this gossip? Us, you are interested in it. I figured you would be. Yeah. I have such a weakness for celebrity gossip, too. Oh, really? Hey, you too, huh? Yeah, so take a look at this. I got some piping hot tea for you. It looks like a tabloid Miss Oldbag would read. All right, all right, let's see here. Jammin' Midnight Rendezvous. To the mysterious yet beautiful manager. To the stars, Miss AA. You see now, don't you? What? You can stop pretending to be in the dark, Mr. Right? Is she going on a date with a jammin' ninja? Juan Corita didn't have a manager of his own, which means if he were talking about a certain manager with the initials AA... Adrian Andrews. Yes, exactly! This is big news! But it seems kind of odd that woman, Miss Andrews, together with the biggest rival of her client... Oh, it's that wonderful thing that only can only happen between two people! <laughs> Love! Mr. Powers looks so happy! Rose is just following along, not having any idea as to what he- as to why he's smiling. <laughs> I just like to be a part of things! Well, like the saying goes, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. Magazine clipping, add to the court record. Okay, I guess, um, I might try to move back and see if I can talk to Lada again. Or at least break one of her chains, right? Surely I can. I guess, uh, maybe I should talk to him more and see if there's anything else I can get. Probably okay, though. I feel like I've already talked to him so much about, like, um... About the others, you know what I mean? But, I don't know, maybe just in case. Oh yeah, do you know anything about Old Bag? <laughs> the age, question mark. I never would have thought I'd see her here of all places, not again! The last time we saw each other was during that really bad incident, you know? I mean, when I look back now, I think of the good things, so it's not so bad, I guess. Yeah, I would love to go back in time and relive a few of those good things. That's not funny! Yeah, I guess not. Matt's younger than me. 
But you can practically see a star potential. How old is this guy again? Now that I think about it. I feel like he'd probably be like 30, right? 24? Are you serious? <laughs> Freaking anime, dude. You can practically see a star potential. His star potential? Oh yeah, I think I did already do this one. Okay, I think we're good then. Let's go to what's her face. Okay, you guys are seeing him ready. That's good. Take that! Here we go. Big scoop! Juan Carita and this person! Adrian Andrews, the one, the only girl boss. This woman! She's Adrian Andrews, Matt on guard's manager. Huh! The Nickel Samurai's manager caught secretly meeting with his rival, the Jammin' Knight. It would be the hottest story of the season, wouldn't it? Yeah, you're pretty good at this guessing thing, Mr. Lawyer. But you can't make up any old thing and think it'll make the papers. You gotta have backup. Backup? Yeah, yeah, you gotta have that. That, that what's it? News sauce? News sauce? Um, you mean news source? That's it! So show me something that shows that one guy had something with Miss Andrews. Um, do we have like a newspaper clipping? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Take that! This is the article from a certain weekly tabloid. Jim and Midnight Rendezvous. To the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss AA. Ah! Miss Carita. Mr. Carita didn't have a manager of his own. What's more, his rival, Mr. On Guard's manager, Adrian Andrews. She has the initials AA, like Ace Attorney. You saw this article and then thought to take some pictures of them as proof, right? That's why you were lurking around Mr. Carita's door last night. Wow! Wow, Dio! Got him! Can't stop me! You can put in a lot of effort, but you can't stop me, Lotta. You were looking into Mr. Carita and Mrs. Andrew's affair, weren't you? You got it! I was gonna get myself a scoop by catching him in a secret meeting. But there's already an article about it in one of the weekly tabloid magazines. It's no longer breaking news. What you- what you just say? Her initials are AA. That kind of thing- that kind of vague thing is- th what kind of vague thing is that? That ain't no proof of nothing. People are gonna want to see real proof. Well, at least I do, so that's what I was doing. Getting photos. Oh! I'm gonna whip up the reader's interest with some gossip and a little misleading. Then spice it up a little and have myself an exclusive story. Wow, lot of nice journalistic integrity you got there. <laughs> I already finished writing up my spicy article, you know. But the paper I wrote it on, the note, my note to myself, it's gone. Oh, guys, what would well, Lotta, <laughs> Wario Lotta look like? <laughs> oh God, I hate that I put that out into the universe. Your note to yourself? It was inside the case of my $1,600 camera. They done run off together <laughs> to get married. I came here for my big story. Didn't come here to have my treasure disappear on me. Yeah, I understand. This is enough to make a gal go bonkers, I tell ya. What's with people now anyways? I never thought I'd see the day when someone done steal something from me. You really want that note back, huh? I've got no idea why, though. The story on that note is probably a bull face lie. Lotta's camera updated. Tablet article about the victim was in the case. Okay, cool. I don't know what else to do, actually. I guess I can just try to talk to somebody. I don't know if anybody else will be here. Oh, actually, I could present this to you, right? Get some tea. Oh god dang it! You freaking oh, this girl. You're just too cool for me, huh? Too cool. I'm sorry. I don't know what who Miss AA is. That's crazy. I've never heard that name before in my life. Never before, ever. 
Okay, let's talk to what's her face. <laughs> oh god, I don't. I'm not actually sure. Present more to Gumshoe. Okay. Is there really only one trial in this case? Uh, that's not a spoiler to ask that, right? I'm just curious. Present! Okay. Um, I guess I could present this to him. What do you know about this? No. Uh, uh. That's your present from the kidnapper, huh? While you're talking, it sends and receives radio waves. If we could trace that. Yeah, we could use it to find out where the bad guy is! It uses radio waves, huh? I got it! I'll go find a radio scanner and let you borrow it, pal! Okay, yeah, that's nice. Seems like a nickel samurai. Is he confess something? I can just try it anyways. Nope. Nah, probably not that. Wong create his murder scene. You look at this photo and you can't help it. It makes you want to say, I can't believe this is the scene of a murder. <laughs> it makes you say, is that person really murdered? <laughs> I can't tell, it seemed a little sussy. Stab with a knife after a struggle. A clue is sleeping in this photo somewhere. I know it. Okay, what about the guitar? Probably not, right? Ah, oh, really? What can you tell me about this guitar case? Oh, that. This is just what I heard, pal, but that's the Jamma Ninja's signature item. The guitar case. No, not that, dummy. What do you take me as? I mean, the guitar inside it, of course. But the guitar is missing. Yeah, we looked for it, too. It's not normal for a person to forget to bring their most famous item to an award show. Yeah, pretty weird. It's gonna be somewhere around here, right? It's starting to sound like that rig guitar is related to this case after all. Actually, on second thought, I kind of wonder if Miss Oldbag stole it, because she said she lost something, right? <laughs> I can see that being the case, because she's supposed to be like a really big stand of his too, right? She's crazy enough to do that. So about this wine glass. Ah, so you noticed it, pal. The whole crime scene was a mess, but this glass was the only thing that was untouched. <laughs> Even the killer didn't want to dare touch the glass of tomato. Just like, ew, gross! I don't want to touch that! You noticed that too, Detective Gumshoe. No, actually, Miss Von Karma noticed it first. Yeah, Pearls noticed it before me too. Hey, wait a minute! So, does that mean... Oh, God. <laughs> wait, is Miss Von Karma here at the hotel? Yeah, she's around. Man, you're gonna be in so much trouble, pal! I would not want to be you! She is pissed! Especially if she catches you here! Well, you can bet the instant I see her, I'll be running the hundred thousand meter dash. Beep! Oh! Oh! Whoa! What's that beeping noise, Mr. Nick? Um, the killer. I've heard this sound somewhere before. It's Miss Von Karma. Oh! <laughs> Never mind, it's her beeper! Ah! What? Oh, yeah, yes, I forgot he had like a, <laughs> what was it, like some kind of device to tell him when she's near? I gotta get the hell out of here! For some reason, whenever I hear that sound, she pops out of nowhere and whips me! Come to think of it, that's exactly what happened last time. Sorry, I gotta make myself scarce later, pal! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, she's here, it's too late! At last you reveal your true nature, Mr. Phoenix Wright! Oh, Gulp, would it be too much to ask for you to be nice to me for a change? Guys, remind me, this time I have to show her the badge. So you're the type to steal information from pitifully hopeless detectives. That's very dishonorable! God dang it! Oh my god, I think that's four whips, don't forget to count. That's very dishonorable of you. Oh, hey, don't you dare run away, my scruffy make turn in coat. <laughs> oh my god, what? Has she got a nickname for him? Oh, ah, I didn't think the detectives of this country could be this pitiful. Oh, God! Detective, come here for a second. No more, please! Stop it now! Oh, my God! Girl! What? <laughs> Shit! Jesus Christ! She won't stop! <laughs> right in front of the bears, too. Hump, I think he might be dead. I feel better knowing at least you are man enough to face your punishment. He was so scared. He just froze up on the spot. <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright! We have to start doing like an assault case for her. You, you have sold my perfect prosecution record for the second time. I'll never forget that. This time, victory is mine. Okay, we're not going against Edgeworth. I love you too, Franny, but 
I was promised Edgeworth. Where is he? Oh, he really is not going to show up. He's really not going to show up to the very end of this chapter, dude. I just know it. Victory is yours. Is that all this means to you? What? Do you not even care if they're innocent or not? Humph. Come, Scruffy. The investigation briefing is about to begin. She definitely doesn't care. Last trial, she was like, Oh God, why did I search the criminal's room? Now I have too much evidence to be used against him. This is so sad. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. This isn't over yet. I swear to my family's honored. They kind of remind me of that meme. What is it? Like, um, like the yes, honey meme. <laughs> you know? It's like, okay, sweetie, come over here for your, like, 20 whippings. <laughs> yes, honey. Oh, what did you throw me now? Oh, what the? What is this? Oh, hey, is it an autograph? Well, I guess this means I gotta go back to the precinct now, pal. If you ever need me, come down to the criminal affairs department, alright? And if you can, try not to let Miss Von Karma see you. No, I gotta show her the badge! No! Damn it! Ah, uh, too. Uh, she came in so fast and she left just as quickly. I'm so sad. Oh, <sighs> so sad. Oh yeah, what was the thing we got actually? Wait, did I not pick it up? The thing she threw at me? Huh. I wonder where I go now actually. Why don't you move back? Can I pick that thing up? I guess it might still be on the, uh... Is it still on the floor? I guess so. Let me go back. I thought he just automatically picked it up. I didn't know he wasn't gonna pick it up. What are you doing, Phoenix? <laughs> Mr. Nick, what's this piece of paper? It's called an autograph. Autograph? The paper's got Mr. Karita's name written on it, so it's his autograph. I can't read it at all. To be honest, to be honest, I've never seen writing that looks like this. Uh, it's a special way of writing called cursive. Look here, see how it says to my dearest Wendy. <laughs> oh my god. And more letters here. My dearest... <laughs> You know he was like gritting his teeth so hard doing that just like my dearest dearest Wendy who I love so much who I don't think is an old hag. This is sloppy unreadable writing. It's crazy and cruel to give this to someone. Hold on. Wendy, I've heard that name somewhere before. Mr. Karina's autograph handed to the out of the court record. Okay, now I got somewhere to go. Uh, that means I get to talk to the best character again. Yay! Yay! Oh my god, Brie, you're back just in time. For the best girl. She was holding a gun at him. I'll remember to write sexy on there, my dearest and sexiest fan, Wendy Oldback. Whom I love. Like, you can see her, like, breath on the, uh, on the fish tank mask, too. Take that! Girl, what? Oh my god. Oh my god, I hate you. I don't want your stupid measurements. Can I just talk to her like normal? What you witnessed? Maybe I should see. What do I. Can I get started on her thing? Is that it? Oh my god, I hate this bitch. <laughs> Take that! Gosh, she's got four of them. So screwed. What you witnessed? All right, I'll be honest with you for now. Then please, tell us what you saw. But, oh, what a waste. And here I have a perfectly good chance to have a little fun at your, you youngin's expense. I am a little devil after all. Um, doesn't that imply you aren't a good person? All right, I'll give you what you want. Oh, uh, okay, okay, that was what she wanted. That makes sense. Take that! Take that! That's a wand autograph! Yes, it is. And it even says to my dearest Wendy on it. Oh, he was so in love with me. That's me, right? Right? <laughs> uh, he did put dearest in front of it, so it's probably a different Wendy. Um, my name is Wendy Oldbag, so that Wendy has to be me, right? 
Well, it may say windy, but somehow I don't think Juan had this windy in mind when he signed it. Oh, please give it to me! Let me have it! I love her little uwu face. Um, I can't let you have it, just like that. Yes, yes, I know. But how about an exchange? Yay! Oh, what the? F All three of them? Wow, she must really have wanted this autograph, dear God! My offer isn't good enough for you. Fine, Mr. Right, you win! Windy old bag, ready to open up her heart. All for my dearest. <laughs> Why did she, she have four of them in the first place? <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead, dude. Autograph given to Windy. Those really broke the chains, didn't they? <laughs> what you witnessed? I feel bad for you now. Huh? I tell you, I saw him that night. I saw him coming out of Juan's room. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, no. It was about 10 minutes before Juan's body was discovered. It was just a coincidence. I was on my way to the toilet, minding my own business. And did you tell that to the police? Oops, sorry. Well, of course. I thought I could get a gift certificate or two out of it, maybe more. Jesus Christ, of course. <laughs> Oh, yes, they did mention actually before she was like a pretty big witness. So that was what she's gonna testify about, I guess, later on the witness stand. Gift certificate? I've been recruited again for that part of the trial. You know, the trial tomorrow. <laughs> Yay! So excited! This time you're gonna get it. I'm gonna work hard to get your client pronounced guilty. But Miss On Guard hasn't done anything bad. I don't care about the. <laughs> I don't care about that. I know he did my dear, dear, dear I know he did my dear poor one and I just do. That yellow belly chicken. Yellow belly chicken? I wonder what that would even look like. I trust my senses. I know when someone did something bad and I say he did it. What? She's the definition of Delulu, dude. God, there's so there's too many similarities between me and her, dude. <laughs> and I hate her so much, but she does this. She's a simp. She's Delulu. She's just like me, man. Just like me for real. What did Mr. Angarde do to you to make you so? You don't know. That guy, he framed my one. He created that scandal that plagued poor one. Mr. Nick. What is it? What does... Oh, no. <laughs> What's a scandal? Oh, I'll tell you all about that after we get you home, okay? It's tea, okay? Just remember that. Poor Juan, let us stray by the wiles of that vile temptress. <laughs> Mr. Nick, what do vials and a vile temptress mean? Oh god, I gotta send you to school or something. Um, how about we listen to what Miss Oldback has to say for now, okay, Pearls? So, so Miss Oldback, who is this woman you're talking about? That's Adrian Andrews, of course, who else? That guy, he shoved this girl onto Juan on purpose. Oh yeah, of course. Why would he want her and not me, Windy Old Bag? <laughs> I'm so much hotter than her. <laughs> I can show you my measurements again to prove it. <laughs> that I'm totally not lying about, by the way. His own manager, but why? I thought lawyers were smart. It was to create a scandal to make Juan lose face. <laughs> that girl drove Juan into a scandal that dragged his reputation through the mud. Sounds like a pretty standard definition of a scandal to me. Why would you know about that anyway, Miss Oldbag? I'm one of Juan's biggest fans. I'm always out there gathering information. There's nothing I don't know. And you have proof that Miss On Guard did what you say he did. Next week's issue of a certain magazine says so. Of course, a tabloid. <laughs> cool. They're always super reliable. Next week? Does that mean it's something people don't know about yet? Why would Miss Oldbag have information like that? And where did she get it? He, he, I know all the tea. <laughs> Spill the tea, Wendy. Oh my God, her name is Wendy, just like Wendy Williams. <laughs> She's totally related to Wendy Williams, right? Oh my gosh. Um, kind of. Let me talk again. I was like a little. I'm trying to think of what. I'm trying to show her something else, right? I'm trying to figure out what it is, though. The Temptress. Blah, 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 blah. I guess maybe... I guess I can probably show her anything now and she'll be uh, good, right? How many proof, Miss On Guard? Did next week issue of certain magazine says so. I guess I show her the tabloid that we have, but... I don't know if that's really gonna help, because it's kind of like, uh... 
old magazine, you know what I mean? Let me show her, uh, Adrian. She's probably gonna talk about her. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna be so annoying this chapter, aren't you? I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Okay, let me try this. I'll just try to show it to her anyways. Oh my god! Ah, oh, bro! <laughs> I don't want your measurements for the 500th time! Oh, I guess the camera? That's true. <laughs> Anything to be helpful! Blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> we gotta break into the- We gotta break into the gossip land office and get next week issue. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything I can really show her. Camera didn't work. I don't think the guitar or anything like that's gonna work either. Look at the tomato juice. She would be somebody who enjoys tomato juice, wouldn't she? Look at the criminal affairs department. Talk to somebody there. <gasps> oh my god, there he is! Oh, it's been so long. Can we get some blue badgers in the chat? Can we get some blue badgers in the chat? Detective Gumshoe said they had an investigation briefing. Yeah. Oh, he's back! Hey, so you came, pal. Why the blunt greeting? Um, because there is nothing to be friendly or happy about. What do you mean by that? Well, things look pretty- look perfect this time around. The evidence and the testimony- you always say that, man. I guess it is always true, but we always- we always defeat it anyways. But, but, we can't just roll over and die. We have to stay positive. Ah, uh, yes, look at those beautiful blue badgers in, ta in chat. Ah, uh, wonderful. So what do you mean the evidence is airtight? I can't give you all the details, pal, but there's two big pieces. Two? And both of them are in this photo. Okay. The first is the button that's missing from the victim's chest. Yeah, they found that in the other guy's, um, whatchamacallit, uh, like, pants or something. Um, that's the button that you found during your body search of Mr. On Guard. Oh, warning for this part. Okay. Yep, I found it in the folds of Nick Samurai's special pants. Um, uh, and the second one is... The knife in his chest, pal. The fingerprints on the knife in his chest, to be exact. Oh, you know what? It's probably just somebody stole his, like, steak knife from... It really is starting to seem like that girl, Adrian, I think. Because, um... It should be easiest for her to steal the knife from him and then like plant it, you know, kill this guy, then plant the knife to make it look like he was stabbed with a knife that has um, Matt's fingerprints on it. Fingerprints? Um, whose are they? You don't even have to ask. Well, little Missy, it's obvious. They're Matt and guards. Tomorrow's trial. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. Airtight testimony. So what about this airtight testimony? It's that old security lady, Miss Old Bag. Oh, is that what the warning was for, Miss Old Bag? <laughs> Trigger warning, Miss Old Bag. <laughs> a warning, Blue Badger. <laughs> I thought so. If there really is a warning, just let me know. I can always add it to like the uh, description or whatever. What do you mean you thought so? Did she tell you something, pal? Um, well, and even though I told her not to open that mouth of hers and blabbed anyone, her blab knob is stuck on 10. There's no turning it down, trust me. Yeah, well, Miss Oldback saw it all, pal. She saw Mr. On Guard come out of the victim's room around the estimated time of death. No way! It seemed kind of like, didn't he say something different though? He said he was like in his own room the whole time. I thought so. Or that like somebody told him to stay in his room the whole time. I thought, honestly, I thought it was like his manager or something, which makes her even more sussy, Adrian. <laughs> Did I ever show him the camera, actually? I'm caught on blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, I don't know if I really have anything else to show him, honestly. Oh, uh, I guess I can see if I can move somewhere. I will say this, there is a trigger warning at the end of this case, but I'm sure if we'll get to it today. Oh, uh, yeah, we probably won't, honestly. I don't know if I... Will... I might go for, like, a little bit longer, but yeah, like I said, I'm not feeling super great today. So I'll probably just try to, uh, whatchamacallit, like, uh, play a little bit longer next time. Oh, the law you dude, so what'd you find out? Um, well, I'm still in the middle of investigating. I see. But I've already told you everything I know, dude. Okay. What happened? 
Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I had that post ceremony stage show to do. So I was in my nickel samurai costume. I mean, it definitely seems like somebody planted it, you know, beforehand since you already had it on. And you were alone the entire time. My manager was running around being busy, so yeah. Because of the press conference. Oh, because of the press conference. You're supposed to hold after the show. I told you, dude, I have no idea about any press conference, right? That's strange. I thought Nickel Samurai was going to confess something. Anyways, when I was leaving my room, that's when I noticed it was kind of noisy. Mr. Karuda was already dead at that time. Yeah, that's what I gathered. Anyway, for my manager. I'm beginning to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. Did I already read through all this? Kind of seems familiar. <laughs> And that's, and that's when the detective showed up in the green coat, in the green coat showed up. He searched me and then out of the blue he arrested me. Yeah, I think I already did this. I guess I can try to present some stuff to him and see if anything happens. What do you think about this article? <laughs> Humph, if you're talking about her thing with Juan, I always thought she was a bit careless in the way she handled it. Okay. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> Head empty, no thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, let's see. I wonder if I can show him this too. Dude, I know I like to throw money around, but it's not like I buy anything. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to sell you a picture of uh, Juan's murder. That's that's really what I'm trying to uh, <laughs> really what I'm trying to get through to you here. Okay. That's my manager. Did you meet her? Oh yeah. What do you think? Strong woman, right? And she takes good care of me. You're such a mama's boy. Ha 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 ha. Do you know Miss Oldbag? Dude. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I skipped. I accidentally skipped it. Gonna ask the fan club president, okay? Dude, you know what? Forget I asked. <laughs> okay, maybe I should go back and talk to uh, What's His Face some more. I don't know if uh, this is really helpful so far. But I hadn't presented this to him yet. Okay, here we go. We're pretty interested in this bit of gossip ourselves. Scandal with Mr. Karita, but why? Well, two years ago, a woman- Oh! Oh! Oh, so this is what you guys were talking about for the trigger warning. Ugh, yikes. A woman committed sewer slide. Oh my god. Oh, her name was Celeste Enpax. Yikes. She was Juan Karita's manager. Okay, dang. The victim's manager. But that's not all, pal. Miss Impax was Miss Adriana Andrews' mentor. Okay, dang. She taught Miss Andrews everything she knew about the business from square one. Her mentor? A woman who was both Mr. Karita's manager and Miss Andrews' mentor. Yikes. Could her sewer slide have something to do with this case? Do you want to know more about her, pal? Okay, yeah, I do. You kidding me? Uh, oh, wait, I don't have her profile yet? Okay, well, I guess uh, we have to talk about it first. Selects impacts. She was the victim's manager, and she was also Miss Adrian's... Miss Adrian Andrews' mentor. It's been two years since her sewer slide, and now those two are linked again by another death. Oh, oh no, she's back! Oh, gosh! No, she's back! <laughs> Poor Gump, she I'm actually starting to feel bad for him. I'm getting sick of dealing with one foolish idiot after another. Miss Von Karma! You can't seem to stop allying yourself with the enemy, can you? How is he even on your side? You just chose that! He's just a detective, dude! He's supposed to be impartial! I don't need a traitor in my midst! You, you don't- you don't mean! I do. Scruffy! You have a 30 minutes to get out of here. You are no longer needed. Goodbye. You will be dead before the morning sun rises. That's... that's... Oops, sorry, my eyes itchy. Wait! Please, wait, sir! If I don't get this month's pay, I'll start quiet! If it weren't for traitors like you. I would have won... <gasps> Who? Yes! We fucking did it! We fucking did it! Let's go! Let's fucking go, baby! Yes! Oh, I'm so happy! Edgeworth, he's here! Oh, he's here! He showed up right at the end of the stream! Just like I thought he would! Edgeworth! 
It's been a long time, right? Oh my god, I'm so happy! He's back! The boy! This person is this Mr. Edgeworth! What am I going to do with you? Still blaming others when things go wrong. Oh, it'd be kind of nice to see him uh, actually interact with our friends since we haven't seen them interact at all. You haven't changed a bit, Francisca. <laughs> you guys gonna be tag teaming against me? You! How dare you show your face to me without a shed of shame upon it! You've saw the Von Karma name, dragging it through the mud. Uh, uh, <laughs> why is she getting whipped? You didn't run away with your tail between your legs like the ill-bred dog you are. <laughs> and she's got the whip now. <laughs> now it's my turn with the whip. Pride Month is back. That is so true, Wolf Allen. <laughs> Finally, it's Pride Month yet again. <laughs> are you talking about the Von Karma family creed? To be perfect in every way. Then let's hear it, Francisca. How are things going? I hear you're having a rough time maintaining perfection in this country. You! You seem to be getting crushed under the weight of it all. That's where I came back. Yes, as you should, King! Keep your assumptions to yourself. I, I haven't given in yet. I won't lose. This case is mine. I'll never hand it over to you. Never! Oh God, Mr. Phoenix, right? I will see you tomorrow in court. It will be a clinical lesson on the meaning of total victory. <laughs> Nobody out of the ordinary. Thank you for being a member. Wow, for 20 months. Yes, the gays won. Edgies. Oh, I'm so happy he saved us, dude. He saved us. Humph. Still the same wild mare she always was. Oh. Talk to him! I get to talk to him! Oh my god, I'm saving right here. I'm saving over that shitty big top case. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for all the safe owls to go away. Hey, what's up, bud? Tomorrow's trial. I thought you, the prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth, had gone and died. Mr. Nick! I never, I never wanted to see you again. It's, you know it's too hard since I can't have you. I think that's enough of a warm welcome for someone you haven't seen in a year. Oh, I like his new sprites, too! Look at him! Oh, he looks so cocky. Are you going to run tomorrow's trial? You heard her, right? That wild mare hasn't given in yet, it seems. Okay, I guess we might go against her first, and then he'll take over. So, no, I don't think I'll be making an appearance. But what about part two, right? It's gonna be a second trial, right? Your hatred for me is quite unhealthy, not to mention one-sided. But I will say one thing. You can't win. On your own at the trial. Oh my god, can we work together? Oh my god, can we like work together? I don't know, we can like research the case tonight at my place. <laughs> I'll bring I'll buy some pizza and ice cream and some beer and we can just like chill out and like maybe watch a movie. I'll just like, you know, rent a movie or something to do. Get some Netflix on. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? I have something definitive that you lack. And working together is the def- uh, YES! It's the power to find the truth. The truth! In order to understand this case, you have to understand a certain truth. Well, if you ever feel the need for my assistance, it is- Yes, yes, yes. I'm <laughs> like, Phoenix is like, no, and I'm like, please, God, please. Yes, yes, God, that's all I ask for in life. I'm not in charge of this case, so I can be a bit more generous with information. Just what is going in on inside his head? Proof of Von Karma blood. A lot of things may have happened, however, Manfred Von Karma still has my- was still my mentor. And a perfect win record is proof of Von Karma. One year ago, you could not establish guilt in a few cases. Are those losses the reason you suddenly disappeared from the prosecutor's office? Did you leave because you had lost your perfect win record? To think your motivation for prosecuting trials was so selfish. It'd been better for everyone if you never came back from- God dang, Phoenix, why are you try- He's trying to steal the edgy title away from Edgeworth, man! I see. Then let me ask you something. <laughs> I love that! I love that! I love that sprite! I was wondering what he was gonna do it again. Oh, I've missed you so much, man. I've missed you so much. Where's the emote of it? I love it so much. <laughs> Edge knows. Oh, he's so perfect, man. Why do you stand in the courtroom? What is your reason? Why stand in court? Well, with Francisca, she almost always says, I will defeat you this time, the instant she sees me. But the courtroom is not a personal battlefield for prosecutors and lawyers. 
I stay in the courtroom to defend my client. To save their lives. To save your client, you say. Hmm. I like this new sprite. Hmm. Those who think only of their own ego-driven goals. Those kinds of prosecutors are reprehensible to me, just like you. And yet, I still find myself so attracted to you. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Even if you're a prodigy, or someone like you, Edgeworth. It looks like there is still a lot you have yet to learn. A lot I have yet to learn. Me? Humph. Well, that's enough for now. The time when you will see... The time when you will see is coming soon enough. Okay. <laughs> For all time's sake, Edgy! I have no interest in talking about useless evidence. Put a little more thought into what you show me, Phoenix Wright. Still as stuck up as ever. Oh, actually, can I show you, um... A gifted prosecutor disappeared suddenly a year ago. What if I show you your sister? We are looking into leaves. But we can only look into a few key players and our limited resources. There's no reason for us to waste our energy investigating this person. Why'd you just tell it to be straight and say I don't have any info? Is he really gonna be investigating with me the whole time? Show him a wedding ring? <laughs> Will you marry me? Hey, you remember this lady? We were looking into leads. We can only look <laughs> You know, you don't remember his old bag? Come on, come on, come on. While I was abroad. These deplorable types of actors became popular, I take it. Well, refreshing like a spring breeze is his motto. Refreshing? And what is so refreshing about a spring breeze? Sounds like the pilot is not treating him well this year. <laughs> Thank you for your helpful input, uh... <laughs> your helpful, helpful input, Edgeworth. There was an interesting rumor about this man. You mean the one about Mrs. Andrews getting close to him? But that's pretty common tabloid fare, isn't it? I don't take things at face value. I know you're gonna agree with me, Edgy. I know you're gonna agree with me and say the rumor is that he's not even freaking dead because he's not. I don't take things at face value when there's more to be found. Okay, you're not really saying very much, huh? Let's see, are you gonna... Okay, no. Is he just gonna like tag along with me? Is that... Can I show you this? Okay, God, God dang it. Why does this background music sound like a Pokemon theme? I feel like I'm about to go fight like the final four or something. So you can't talk to anything else. I wonder, hmm, where else can I go? I kind of want to do this. Do you know this guy? Or do you know this guy? Um, dude, this person looks like a member of my fan club. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he totally is, mate! <laughs> Almost gave him the K voice there for a second. Oh, here we go. Um, what's wrong? How much do you know? What do you mean how much? Mr. Lawyer, I may be your client, but I hope you will keep yourself out of my personal life. Bro, I'm trying to save you. Oh no, I would never. Hm. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a lunch appointment I have to keep. Bro, you're in prison! You're in detention! Who in the world are you going to eat with? The security guard? <laughs> Mr. Nick! The Celeste impacts a lady. Somehow, I get the feeling she is a very important person in all this. Interesting. Can I show it to Edgeworth, too? I don't know if I showed him yet. I just feel like he's gonna say the same thing. Oh, here we go. This woman is another key to solving this case. Oh, thank you. Nobody out of the ordinary. Right worth the wedding? Win. God, I wish I could have kept that stupid ring from the last case. That's what Edgeworth... He does... Well, he actually doesn't deserve that cursed-ass ring from that puppet. But he does deserve a ring. Him and Phoenix together. In matrimony. Miles Edge work. Work. <laughs> Miles Edge twerk. Do you really think so? She was Adrian Andrews' mentor a long time ago. But she was suddenly called away by a, by a different show and became Juan Carita's manager. And then a few months later, Celeste Impax was dead. But her, her death was ruled a sewer slide, right? 
Yes, but there's no sewers near here! There is still one riddle we've yet solved. A riddle. Her sewer slide note. It went missing. One could- no one could find it. A sewer slide note that just vanished, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Huh. Oh yeah, thank you, Lucky Cat Luna. Did Ace Attorney predict a smart one? They kind of did in a way, didn't they? Honestly. I was thinking about that. I was like, did this game release in like 2000, like 20, probably 2007 or something. Speaking of edits, you should check the edit I sent you in messages, Weeby. LMAO, people in chat. Oh God. <laughs> should I do it right now on stream? <laughs> I'm curious. Now you got me curious, Bree. Oh god! <laughs> oh my god, he does look exactly like Nikkei though, doesn't he? I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh my gosh, wait, can I zoom in? Now I can show you guys on stream. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful! You should post that to the Reddit! Oh, that's so beautiful. He needs to be the new opener for my streams. I gotta start doing that again, honestly. Having like the openers for my streams. Thank you so much for the beautiful art and the donation, Weeby. I mean, Weeby. Bree! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so out of it today. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, what was I gonna do again? I'm not actually sure what else. Yeah, he already left here. Huh. I'm trying to think of where else to go. Uh, I guess I could maybe ask What's Her Face about, um, basically probably just ask everybody about, um, who, uh, What's her face is? Oh, you might know. Oh god, dang it! I didn't mean to. Do I meant to press R. I meant to press R. I know I did. I missed those too. I should start doing those again. Oh, my mom do. Okay, he doesn't know. My bad. Do you know Edgeworth though? Of course you know Edgeworth. How could you not? You probably don't know who she is either, right? Worth a shot though. It's like she doesn't know hot gossip. Sa. I've told you how many times now, I'm a journalist. I got so much info running laughs in my head, I forgot things here and there. Please don't get so worked up over this. Ha, I don't care if you beg me. Be extra tough on kids. That's this scale's motto on learning youngsters. Okay. Okay. I was kind of wondering if she's still in here or not. Huh, looks like Miss Andrews. God dang it. Uh, I wanted to show it to her. That's not good. I still have a few questions I want to ask her. And she has that psyche lock on her heart, right? Well, we don't have much of a choice. I guess we'll have to come back later. God dang it. Da, na, 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 na. Maybe Karita's room? Really? Dang, where am I supposed to go? Hmm. I haven't finished talking to Edgeworth yet. Really? What else do I show him? I mean, I'm always cool with talking to Edgeworth. I feel like he kept uh, ignoring me. I feel like every piece of evidence I showed him, he didn't really seem to care about it. I think I show him some more profiles too. Did I show him his own profile? We we're looking into leads. No, yeah, I did. Oh, did I, did I not prison Adrian? I thought I did. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't. Adrian Andrews. She holds a large secret within herself. A secret. You can't help but feel that this whole case revolves around her, for sure. She's super sassy. Okay. Is there anything I talk to you about then? Okay. Oh. I always... God, I do that all the time. Whenever there's a new thing, I forget that I have to, like, go to the talking section. Miss Impax's death was most certainly a oh, Miss Impax's death was most certainly a sewer slide. Why, it really does sound like Pokemon music. This is driving me crazy. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh my gosh, Miss Impax's death was most certainly a sewer slide. Of that, there is no mistake. However, we could not find her sewer slide note. That's when the police began to suspect that someone had hidden it. The sewer slide note. But how do you know Miss Impax had even written such a note? There were no solid evidence, however. We did find traces of ink on her right index finger. Okay. 
which makes the likelihood of a sewer slide note very high. But who would hide such a thing? The police think it- Oh, what the... Sussy! Mr. Juan Carita himself. The victim? Hmm. Oh, yikes. He was the one who found her body. Oh, dang. Which makes him the only person who had a chance to hide her sewer slide note. Mr. Carita hid his own manager's sewer slide note. As long as her note is missing, any speculation beyond this is meaningless. For now, I think you should look this over. This is the sewer slide, sewer slide report, part one anyways. Part one. Okay, dang. Things are starting to heat up. To see Celeste impacts found by Juan Carita, was her sewer slide note hidden? Okay. Interesting. Can I present that to you actually, now that I think about it? I don't like to look through reports. I like... Oh, <laughs> it's like, it's like, it took me a second. I like sewer slide reports even less. I thought I was just gonna say, I like sewer slide reports. Worst of all, all the, worst of all are the reports that have multiple parts like that one. That has two. Two parts. What about the second part? What you just handed me is the first part of the report. Here is the second part. The second part of the report is about an attempted sewer slide. The attempter's name. Oh, what the hell? Adrian Andrews. Oh my god. This is getting so juicy. Miss Andrews, what did, what did she do? She tried to, Really? She doesn't seem like the kind of person to try to unalive themselves, though. You think she's a strong career woman. That's just what she wants you to think. Adrian Andrews. She has a certain secret that she's always trying to hide. A secret? Hmm. <laughs> Her dependent nature. Oh, that's what she's really like on the inside, huh? She did not seem like that at all, dude. Mrs. Andrews dependent. Talk about the exact opposite of what that woman is. Interesting. Interesting. Oh wait, no, god dang it. I keep pressing E instead of R. Can we talk about her anymore, or? Hold the secret, secret. You can't help but feel the whole case revolves around her. Very true. Very freaking true, dude. Okay, she should be there now. Cool. It's nice of Miss Oldback to at least hide her face in this trial. I appreciate that about her. Nah, she's not here. <laughs> Damn it! Oh man, sometimes this game can get kind of hard to figure out like where you're supposed to go. God dang it. Hmm. I'm trying to think. <laughs> yeah, they're like Pearl. People in the chat. Pearl should not be hearing this. Very true, very true. Do you still have to talk to Edgeworth more? I'm always down to talk to Edgeworth, but uh just thought uh Thought we were finished. Okay. I already showed him that, I think, right? Did I already show him this? I can't remember. Didn't like to look through reports. Yeah, yeah. Let me try to fast forward this. Sorry, guys. Okay, um, is there another one? Oh, depend. okay. If it spawned at the top, it, uh, <laughs> confused me. What, what's this about Miss Andrews having a dependent nature? Adrian Andrews attempt at sewer slide. Was a few days after the death of Celeste Impax. And... And why did Adrian Andrews think about committing sewer slide? Because she had apparently lost her will to live. Lost her will, but why would she? Her pillar of strength, her mentor Celeste Impax, was gone forever. Okay, so they were really close. That's why. Why would that? I guess like, oh yeah, oh god, she is listening. Oh no. Is this what they call following someone to the grave and somebody cover her ears? I was like, oh god, no, you weren't supposed to hear all this, Pearl. After her attempted sewer slide, Adrian Andrews started attending counseling lessons. She is someone who needs a person in whom she can trust absolutely. Oh, thank you, Crocomancer. So, mentor, roommate? <laughs> they were roommates. <laughs> if you get my drift. I can definitely see people shipping them together. I wonder why um, the first girl committed suicide in the first place, though. 
I still don't really know if I remember the exact. I don't think that they really said the exact reasons why. Because, yeah, she, like, literally wrote, like, a note, or allegedly, we think she wrote a note, but we haven't seen it yet. She's someone who needs a person in whom she can trust absolutely. And once she finds that person, she'll do anything she can to keep them near. Without such an anchor in her life, her crippling anxiety stifles her ability to live. Oh my god, she is just like me, for real. And that's... And that's the nature of her dependency on others. Damn. When Celeste Impact suddenly committed sewer slide, the world before her turned pitch dark. That's according to the Adrian Andrews herself. Then that means her super confident attitude. It's all a facade. Yeah, just to try to like convince herself she's strong. Damn, that's sad. That's so sad. She's only copying her mentor's behavior to hold herself together. Oh, terrible. Interesting. It'll be kind of interesting to see her true nature later on. Tinted sewer slide report added to the court record. Okay. Is that it? Anything else you want to talk about? Anything else you want to talk about, Edgy? <laughs> you wanted to talk a lot. Okay, I guess I'm going to present him this too. Appearances can be deceiving. It's such a cliche thing. But it's cliche because it's true. Miss Andrews. To think that behind that unwavering brave front, she's been hiding this weakness and fear. Okay. Probably nothing else to show him, right? Right? I don't think so. I feel like I've showed him everything that I own. At this rate. Okay. Okay, let me see if she's back in the, uh... She's back in, um, What's-His-Face's room. Okay, here we go. Yay! Oh, Miss Andrews is here! But it looks like she's talking with someone. That's... I knew it! Oh, God! What are you doing here? Um, well, you see, I'm his lawyer, so... You've got some nerd following me around. Following you? That's you, Miss Von Karma! You're the one doing the following! Pearls. You're always following after that Mr. Detective with the little beard! <laughs> the little beard? <laughs> You're always whipping him and stuff! Me, following after Scruffy. Don't make me laugh. Let me show you something interesting, little girl. Be wait, what the? Beep, beep, beep! What is that? An electromagnetic receiver. Oh, hey, actually, could that help with the radio receiver thing we, uh... The radio caller thing we got from, uh, the killer? I planted a tracking device on that detective. <laughs> My god! And with this, I know that fool's every move. You were so psycho. I like that in a woman. So that noise we heard was this receiver. I feel a little sorry for poor Detective Gumshoe now. Now then, let's stop wasting time. Adrian Andrews! Um, yes. Think hard about what we just discussed. Think hard about what we understood. Please don't whip me, alright. If she's weak-willed too, Karma's definitely gonna be very intimidating to- Intimidating, like, to her, you know? What were those two talking about? Miss Andrews, she seems a little dazed, doesn't she? Hmm. Yay, we can talk! Motive for murder. Oh man, I wonder if I probably can start to do that, right? I probably finally have everything, right? Right, I got a lot of stuff now! So I feel like it! Let's go for it! Take that! Boom! I am interested to see her real personality. Motive for murder. Why was Juan Carita murdered? If you ask me, I think you know the reason he was killed. Hum. Why are you hiding things? Don't you realize you're putting Mr. On Guard's life in danger by your actions? Hmm. Why do you ask questions for which I have no answers? The truth is, I was not that close to Miss Carita. You were not that close. Um, that's right. I've never been good at being intimate with another person. Girl, that's a lie. You're not good at being intimate with another person. Somehow I highly doubt that. Would it be the article or would it be the other chick that she was uh, friendly with? I'm gonna try the article first, I think. Take that! Take that! You and Mr. Karita had an intimate relationship, did you not? Hmm. 
A silly third-rate tabloid article. If you even had half your wits about you, you wouldn't believe such a rubbish. Also, Miss AA, that could be anybody. That could be the ace attorney for all we know. Well, it seems quite a few people have already bought into the story. Hump. As to be expected in a world filled with crooks and liars. Note to self, stay on her good side. In any case, I despise interpersonal relationships like that. I see, however. What if there was a need for you to get close to someone? Me? Need to get close to Miss Carita, Mr. Corita? As if there was ever such a need. Didn't you get close to Mr. Corita for this person's sake? Okay. Her? Uh, <laughs> Edgeworth? <laughs> Celeste Impacts! Celeste Impacts, your mentor. How do you know about Celeste? I do feel bad for this girl, man. It seems like she's really gone. She's really going through it. Warning chat, the scene is also a little triggering. Yeah, uh, it does seem like we're gonna talk about, like, unaliving a lot this chapter, so if that's sensitive to you, I probably would just, uh, wait this one out. She committed sewer slide, didn't she? But it looks like no one knows why. Right before her death, she was Juan Carita's manager. So I believe you got close to Mr. Carita so you could find out more about her sewer slide. Mm. You have great imagination. You may have a future yet as a slimy muckracker for a future third-rate tabloid. Miss Andrews. There was no mystery surrounding her death, none. It would be pointless for me to force myself into a relationship for nothing. Is that really true? Was there really no mystery at all? I don't believe you were completely at ease with the way her sewer slide was resolved. Okay. One of these mentions the, uh, her sewer slide note was hidden. Yeah, yeah, so it's gotta be this one, right? Take that! Take that! <laughs> Miss Impact's sewer slide note was never found, was it? Ah! It looks like the police were under the suspicion that someone had hidden it. Like, maybe the person who discovered her body, Mr. Carita. Oh, no, yeah, duh, that is true. People think that he hid it, so no wonder she would want to get close to him. Dude, it really does seem like she killed him, honestly. She has a big motive to kill him. And Miss Andrews, I believe you thought the same thing. She also doesn't really seem like she has anything, like, left to lose either, so she would be kind of the type of person to maybe kill. That's why you became intimate with Mr. Carita. Got him! I've sat by quietly and listened to your insulting ramblings long enough. It's true that Celeste was my mentor. However, allow me to say this again. I ha it had nothing to do with me. I didn't even know that her sewer slide note was never found. I'm a person who doesn't care about what goes on in the lives of others. Yeah, right. That's the impression you like to give. However, I don't think that's who you really are. What? I have evidence that says otherwise. This is proof that Celeste impacts with someone very special to you. Yeah, reason. It literally says that the reason, so I think this is pretty safe. Take that! Miss Andrews, you were nearly went through with it too, didn't you? Damn. Went through with what? Kind of feel bad, like, I don't know, like, hounding her so hard on all this. Like, uh, considering how much stuff she's had to go through and how, like, uh, I don't know, I guess, like, fragile she seems to be, but I guess it is important for the case. We gotta do it for Maya. Ending your life. Miss Andrews, you look and act like a very strong woman who has it all together. You don't ask for anyone's help, relying on only yourself. Yes, I've been very independent ever since I can remember. However, that is all- however, that is all just a lie. A facade. You've always searched out people on whom you can depend on. That's- You were dependent on Miss Impacts, weren't you? Why is she working for What's-His-Face then? She could not depend on him. Which is why, when she passed away, you lost everything you had. Stop it! Oh man, I feel bad, dude! Oh man, this is one time I feel bad for Blue Badgering. When Celeste passed away so suddenly, like that, I died a death of my own, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't stop thinking about what had become of her note. You must have heard about the police report. The one that said the police suspected Mr. Carita of hiding Miss Impax's note. You heard about it and thought to recover it from him by getting close, am I right? Damn. If that's the case and everything changes. What do you mean? What topic do we start with? This conversation on again? Uh, you got a reason for murder motive now? It was why was the victim killed? 
Exactly. Somehow, Miss Andrews, it seems that you have become the one with a reason to want Mr. Karita dead. Me? I don't know, I want to believe in my girl and be like, no, she couldn't have killed him because, like, she still needs to find the note. You know what I mean? So she's, she wants to find it in the good way. I want to believe in her, but, yeah, she's definitely looking pretty sus. Probably too sus, though. Probably was somebody else just because she's looking too sus, but she definitely does have the biggest reason to murder. Miss Impax was everything to you. And then she died. And you would do anything to find out why she killed herself, or unalived herself. Even commit murder. Murder. Damn. Phoenix is going off, dude. I feel bad, though. It's like, ah, oh, she's gone through so much. Motive for murder. It's true. I am a woman who can only live in insecurity. I'm physically small, and I don't really have a lot of self-confidence. Oh, uh, yeah, I think they did mention that she was only, like, five feet or something. I remember I saw them in the chat. I pushed against all that, though. I've tried to live strongly. I never wanted anyone to find out the truth. Miss Andrews! This one thing. It's the one thing I wanted to take with me to the grave. It was my secret. Mine and mine alone. I'm sorry. You probably think I'm a worthless human being right now, don't you? Please, Miss Andrews. All I want to know is the truth. After Celeste passed away, I heard that someone had hidden her sewer slide note. And that someone was... And that someone was Juan Carita. Celeste, without her... Without her, I became scared. Everything, everyone seemed like they were out to get me. So you got close to Mr. Carita to recover her sewer slide note, correct? Man, I want to really know, like, why... She, like, uh, what was her name again? Impacts? Like, why she did that? Looks like that tabloid reported the truth after all. Ironic, isn't it? Well, like they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if they purposely add fuel to the fire, they keep the celebrity world burning. Ah. But as for the sewer slide note, I didn't and wouldn't kill anyone for it. It just doesn't suit me, that's all. A good defense, girly. Wow, you really convinced me. <laughs> well, that's enough for now. I still have work to do, so I understand. Oh, I have one small favor to ask. My attempted sewer slide, I'd like for you to keep it a secret. Miss Andrews, I can't believe Pearl is still hearing all of this. If people found out about my weakness, I would sooner choose to die. Damn. All right, I understand. We'll keep it a secret. Uh, we're totally gonna have to present that in trial. Oh, no. I guess she's the overthinking type. She probably never says anything without carefully thinking it through first. Thank you for your discretion. Mr. Nick, can I ask you something? What is it? Mrs. Andrew's been playing with that card in her hand since a little while back. Oh, yeah, that is true. I kind of wonder what the importance of that is. That card, yeah, I guess she has. Miss Andrews, what is that card you're holding? Huh? Oh, this. I don't quite know. It suddenly appeared in my handbag. Oh, weird. Oh, yeah, it does look like a little conch shell, doesn't it? Hmm. Gotta be important somehow. What is it? It looks like a seashell? That's what it looks like, doesn't it? I honestly don't remember owning this card. I wonder where I picked it up from. We're not remembering something clearly. It sounds like it would be a rare occurrence. Well, I must be off. Oh, I leave Mr. On Guard in your capable- <laughs> Capable? Why'd you put quotations around that? Hands. Oh, man. Oh, man, dude. Rough. I do like this case a lot, though, so far. It does seem to be really interesting. Where do I go now? Oh, here we go. It's like, I feel like we're getting pretty close to the trial, right? Well, I think we've gathered all the evidence we can. What about Mystic Maya? Is she all right? Oh, Pearls. She looks so worn out by all this. I know. Poor Pearl, dude. She hasn't slept at all and has been walking all over the place with me today, learning about unaliving. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Let's go back to the office for a little while. You're really tired, right? Oh my goodness, they're gonna get like a cute, wholesome scene together. Oh no! I'm okay, really. I'm fine. I really am. You don't gotta pretend to be strong, girl. It's okay. You don't look fine to me. Oh, it's okay, girl. Stop. You're just a little girl, you know? You, it's okay if you're not okay. It's okay to not be okay, Pearl. Let's get let's get away from old bag. March 21st. So, what now? Well, we did find one thing out for sure. Miss Andrews has a motive. You mean Miss Impact's a sewer slide note? 
That's right. She was also the one to discover the victim's body. Clever. Oh. Hey, oh my god, we're getting their call. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Nick, it's Transceiver. Beep. Hello, Ryan and Co. Law Offices. Mr. Attorney, you're not answering the phone. Maya, where's Maya? As I promised, I have not gone within a few feet of her this whole time. Phew. I hope she's eating. Which is why I suppose she's, uh, yeah, pff, absolutely famished. What? So I suggest you win a quick acquittal, my friend. You're not gonna feed her? At any cost, wouldn't you agree? Is he just gonna starve her until we get, until we get like the verdict he wants? Wait, Maya, let me hear her. Very well. Ask my, Maya, is that you? Sis, ask my sis. Huh? Oh, it's like, I know you can't solve this case on your own, Phoenix. Ask my sister for help. Thanks for believing in me, girly. Maya, Maya, damn it. He cut me off. Mystic Maya said, ask my sis, didn't she? Sis? What does she mean? What does she mean by that? Come on, Phoenix. Think. Oh, God. You're a hopeless one. All two of my brain cells. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry. Ack! Ah, <laughs> Dumbass! <laughs> Mia! I have a message for Maya. So come, ask me anything you want about her. Oh, cool. Maya situation. How's Maya? She's safe for now. That kidnapper is one to keep his word, it seems. I'm glad to hear she's safe. But Mia, how did you know? As soon as she was locked up, Maya called for me. That's smart. I read the note she left. Then I gathered as much information about her surroundings as I could. I didn't know you could use spirit channeling like that. Pretty smart of her, yeah, for real. The kidnapper. The kidnapper! What's he like? Creepy old dude, Monokuma color scheme, you know, the usual. I don't know. Apparently Maya went to answer a phone call at the hotel and was drugged there, dang. And? She didn't see the face of her attacker. Oh, she hasn't seen the face still? I guess, oh yeah, he put a blindfold on her. Maya's locked up in a very dark place right now. I'll tell you everything I heard when I was with her. When you were with her. Okay. Location, question mark. Hashtag free Maya, for real. Oh, hey, there's like a little note on the floor too. I'm starving. I could really go for some apple pie. I mean, at a time like this, sweets are the only way to go. Comfort food. I have to stay positive. He promised he wasn't gonna kill me. I'm not gonna die. Sis, I wonder if you're with Nick right now. Oh, okay, I can actually, uh, Literally investigate everything. Oh, what the? Oh, literally the same card. Huh, someone dropped a card here. It kind of looks like a business card. But there's no name on it. Interesting. Hmm, it's a picture on a seashell, I think. What a strange card. Hmm, interesting. So she must have gotten it from that guy, too. I'm trying to think of like, did he just like drop one or did he have, like kidnap her at some point too? What's this? It feels like there's a lot of glass bottles here. And these, they feel like barrels. I'll pass. Too bad I'm really hungry and not really thirsty. I can't click the door. Dread, it's locked. Hmm, but the store's lock seems easy enough to open. On TV, the heroes always use a plastic car. Oh, a plastic card or a stiff piece of cardboard. Then click, they magically open the door. You can do it, girl! I wonder if there's a card like that around here I could use. Ah, that's it! I was like, do I have to click on it again? The shell card! If I use this, maybe I can get the door open. Uh, I feel like she's gonna get caught, though. I was like, hopefully he won't do anything bad to her if she gets caught. Hopefully not. I get the door open. This might be the, my key out of here. I had a feeling this card might be useful. I'm such a genius! All right. Now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Kidnapper. Click. I did it! Oh, damn. Okay, now I'm getting the heck out of here. I shouldn't keep Nick waiting or worried. Okay, girl. Girl boss your way out of there, sweet. Slay. <laughs> Slay, I guess. <laughs> Look at you go, Maya. Oh, nice. Okay, I guess I'll probably do the trial next time. It looks like she kind of, I don't know. I kind of feel like she's going to get caught, though, honestly. But we shall see. Yep, it's going to be the trial next time. Just because, I don't know, it seems too... I don't know, it seems too, like, easy for her to get out like that, you know what I mean? 
<laughs> but I'm gonna until until we're proven otherwise, I'm gonna believe in her. I'm gonna believe that she girl bossed her way out of that room. She channeled Ray Macario and girl bossed her way out. Okay, well thanks guys so much for coming to the stream. I think I am gonna end it here just because yeah, I'm not really feeling super good. I feel like my medicine's kind of wearing off. My migraines coming back. <laughs> but I still had fun uh, doing this case. It's really fun so far. And uh, yeah, maybe we can stream a little bit longer next time. Try to do another like five hour stream or something. I feel like once this case gets like really, really going, I'm probably not gonna want to stop. Cause even like feeling sick, I was like, <laughs> I was like really into it <laughs> and didn't want to stop. But uh, this seems like probably a pretty good, a pretty good place with uh, just kind of how I am today. But yeah, thanks guys so much for coming. I hope you guys have a great weekend and a great week. And I will uh, see you next time.